And welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day this lovely, lovely Saturday morning. It is, well, it's Saturday, it's warm, it's beautiful, and I am inside streaming, which is, seems like a reasonable choice. <laughs> anyway, I'm back in my uh, solo world, so let's hit the button to get over there. All right. Yes, and this this place is looking good. I what I'm going to be doing today uh, is well using endstone. <laughs> I'm thinking endstone is going to be good for setting up some roads and some paths and things, and I think I want to try to bring some of the uh, greenery and plants out to this area where my starter base is. So, so that's going to be the general plan, I think. Um, but we're going to be also doing a lot of cleanup as we go. So it's, it's going to be a thing. Um, this, this is weird. All of this natural organic nonsense is stuff I'm not good at. So anyway, but also how's it going? Snoopers, Thomas, hope you all are having wonderful mornings as we, uh, dive into this. Now, I'm going to start here. I want to see... Probably should grab that redstone, but we're going to go with some endstone here as part of this road. Okay? And I just want to see sort of how it works, right? How does this... Oops, am I using... Yes, okay. Am I using the right pickaxe? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, because all of this stuff... I mean, it's great, but it's dark in here. It's dark and lifeless. And the plan here is to make it, well, maybe bright and lifeless? I... Yeah. <laughs> it's Minecraft. There's not a lot of life sometimes. All right. Yeah, because you can see... Here's I turn off the gamma override. Okay. Yep. It's dark over here. This is why I need to bring in some light. But I think this is going to look good as it comes through the green. All right. So turn that back on for you because it's it's dark. All right. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is also mixing in some regular end stone as well. But I want to start here. Oh, I must have the silk touch. It's okay. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to be a nice a nice color cuz I'm not going to use the end stone for a lot of buildings. So putting it on the road I think is going to work out nicely and I think it provides a nice contrast here maybe. All right. Cool. So we're starting with some roads here. I'm coming down from the stairs that lead up to, well, the greenway. And I think I'm going to bring some roads kind of this way because I want to... Actually, maybe making this three blocks wide would be good. Um, I should switch to my other hoe here. But if I bring this across like this, yeah, this should work out okay, I think. Ah, ah, sneezles, sneezles all the way. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So let's bring this out here. And then we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see where else I want to take this road. And then we'll that will lead us to fountains and other exciting things, right? I'm using the slabs because they're it's more efficient. And <laughs> I don't want to go mine more end stone. I did spend a lot of time, oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I was just sort of killing some time. And I thought, you know what? Let's just go grind out some, some end stone because I think I may want to use that for the paths and the roads and stuff through the city. At least a few of them. Ah, oh, all right, hang on just a moment. So 
Sorry about that. My allergies have been killing me today. I woke up, my eyes were all scratchy and burny and just gross. All right, now I do need to put a little bit of something here, I think. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it's, you know, I, I like plants. I like trees. I like flowers. I would just appreciate it if they kept their love life out of my sinuses. You know, there, there comes a point where we need to set some personal boundaries. I think that's a reasonable one for me, at least, to keep the keep plants, love lives out of my sinuses. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you ever have that moment when you're, uh, your fizzy drink now fizzes in your throat? Always fun. Who knows how our love lives affect the plants? Yeah, they're probably out there. Make it stop. <sighs> I'd go further with that joke, but I think I'd start losing the uh, family friendly rating on my channels. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and bring this around this way. Now, so I've got an entrance over here. And, uh, yeah. All right. I never used to have allergies. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, allergies were not an issue. Now that I'm an adult, <laughs> it also doesn't help that, uh, of course there was a stone cutter over there, wasn't there? It also doesn't help that it's like super dry where I live and that just tends to, it's dry and it's windy. So we get a lot of dust and a lot of, it's farmland around us. So a lot of the, that gets blown around. You know, just just so much sand in the air during the spring, which is annoying because I like spring. It's warm, or at least especially after the ridiculously cold winters we tend to get. And so this one was relatively mild. <laughs> but holy cow, it's hard to enjoy it when your eyes are uh, glued shut because of allergies and not nastiness. Pack 70 here. You thought you were allergic to air? I get that, Thomas. I get that. See, you know, I know I have a little bit of an allergy, like tree allergies and grass allergies. Right, it's one of the reasons I couldn't really do outdoor cats because they would tend to roll in get into like grasses and things that I was allergic to. It also turns out I'm a little bit allergic to cats. Not so much so that I'm going to get rid of my cat, but y you know how that goes. Let's see. Okay. So I think we're going to bring this this way. It's like, I love my cat. We are not going to get rid of my, my cat. I think this one, this one I think is going to be a two ride. Yeah, I think we'll go too wide here. And I'm just going to place some of this down so I can see where it comes out into the center here. No. In other more or less useless news, I'm uh, on my own this, this week because my wife was taking my daughter to college. And I went shopping last night, so hey, longer stream potentially. We'll see how my sinuses hold up. <laughs> Should post a picture of my cat. There might actually be one. I'll have to look. I've posted a few. I, he's a he's just a sort of tabby tabby cat, and it's uh, I think that's what it is. Sort of sort of the the tan and and gray. Uh, Tiger stripe type. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move some lights too, it looks like. 
He's also like 17 years old and grumpy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll, we'll move that uh, that glowstone. This, by the way, I think is the only reasonable use of glowstone. Stick it in someplace and cover it up because, man, there are a lot of blocks that get crap for how they look or how hard they use or they are to use. Birch, for example. The texture on glowstone is is one of those that just hurts me deep inside. It's like I want this to look better and it doesn't. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the glowstone for now, but it's coming out. Ah, oh, but He's funny. We adopted him when he was eight months-ish. We're not sure because he was born wild. He was born astray. And he, um, we had taken our other cat into the vet because he was having urinary tract issues, which is not uncommon for male cats. Moss, there we go. So, yeah, I have to hide the closed door and trap door stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, we had another cat who we had. He was having urinary tract issues. We had to take him in, and the vet had had this cat or dusty cat, uh, because he'd been hit by a car. Silk touch would be helpful here. Yeah, he'd been hit by a car, and somebody had brought him in. And we had was had offered to pay the vet bill, and then pay for all of the shots and things, for uh, whoever adopted it. Well, we had been kind of, sort of talking a little bit about maybe getting a cat, perhaps, right? You know those those discussions, getting a second cat, and so when we went to pick up, pick up Sam from the vet. They had this cute little striped cat with, you know what? Yeah, sure. We can, we can adopt him. Yeah, why not? Turns out he hates people. <laughs> he was, he was not happy about his new life as in prison, you know? And because he grew up wild, right, he's, he's not a lap cat. He's not a, he doesn't like any of that cuddly stuff, you know. But he's sort of, I don't know if he's uh, just grown accustomed to it. And he's sort of okay with it now or what, you know, Stockholm Syndrome from cats or something. But. <laughs> you love my cat. Yeah, he's he is getting to the point now. He will occasionally even come sit on a lap, which is weird for him. Uh he and he occasionally likes to tuck me in at night. Like I'll go up to bed. Right, I'll brush my teeth, get changed. You tend to bond with ornery animals. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I'll go, I'll brush my teeth, I'll, I'll climb into bed, and he'll climb up the, he'll jump up on the bed, walk up, lay on my chest for about 10 or 15 seconds, sometimes he'll go sit at my feet. But as soon as I turn off the lights on the headstand, yep, he's done, and he gets down and he, he wanders off. He's like, nope, whatever he had planned, that was not it. All right, so... Also, my ancient city is now overrun with cats. Okay. So we're going to bring some road this way. Uh, yeah. So touch would be helpful here. Okay. Now, I don't know that I actually want to run this all the way over. As I mentioned at the beginning, I sort of want to throw in a fountain of some sort. And I think this is sort of where I want to put it. So, 
having this road go around the fountain. Hey, what do you know? The door is actually lined up with the middle. That's cool. I wonder if I planned that. <laughs> I don't know. See, the nice thing, too, about roads like this is I can run... I could run glowstone stuff along the outsides of it and cover it up, and that provides a nice, easy, hidden light source along the city or throughout the city. Okay. So we've got this idea. That's going that way. This is going to head down that way. This is going to connect over here. All right. Now, I have it totally decided if I want to change these you know like these there's a bunch of these main roads throughout the ancient city and let me free cam up here so like there's this one that leads towards the, the temple space right but you've got a bunch of these that are the gray wool and deep slate right all of this stuff these sort of covered walkways and I haven't decided what I want to do with those. I want to keep them. Or at least keep the structure. I don't know what I want to do with the color. If I want to replace the wool with end stone. Or if I want to change it out for something else. But it's just bright and cheerful. So. Do something. What I need to do. Is actually get off my butt. And go get a bunch of sand and and gravel start making concrete because some nice brightly colored concrete would be lovely in places okay so what to do what to do what to do about a fountain because I do like the idea of putting a fountain here we've got this big backdrop of the the veggie hotel right we've got this lovely square building and i this disaster that is my starter base so i need a little bit of something here i'm not sure what i want to do with this let's see what's all right y'all give me a block Pick a, give me a block palette. Give, do I do stone? Do I do quartz? Do I do um, birch or bamboo? I mean, a bamboo fountain would be a little weird, maybe. Do I just do stone? Um, help, help me out here, guys. What, what do I do with a drunken sailor with you do with a drunken sailor. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm a little punchy this morning. So I'm I'm making a fountain. I'm gonna make a fountain and smooth stone like for blast furnaces. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I've got in the way of smooth stone. It's definitely a good idea. Okay. I, and I've got some. The, my only complaint with smooth stone is I can't make stairs out of it, I think. I can slab it, but I can't stairs it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, so I'm going to make a fountain, and smooth stone is definitely a good idea. Um, what... What else could I do? Because I don't want to really want to do deep slate. I mean, I could get. I mean, right, I've got available at least, if not right here, I can go get it. Um, all of the woods except for the pink nether trees. I don't have the crimson trees. Um, let's see. What else would be? No, birch I don't think would work. Cherry wouldn't work. Polished, I could, um, I don't think I have that here. This, yeah, this, this, um, oh, I don't have prismarine either. So I'm not, I don't have the 1.21 blocks yet in this world. So 
so that's sort of out. Prismarine would look good, but again, I don't have it in this world. Because I haven't raided an ocean monument here. I'm not entirely looking forward to building another uh, guardian farm. Though that one over on Tinker World was kind of fun. All right, so. But darn it, I hate it when chat has good ideas and I don't have the blocks for it. Um. Yeah, because I. I I've got sort of a disaster of colors here, okay? You've, you've heard of, like, a pride of lions and a and a herd of cows. I have a disaster of colors, and I, I need something here that's going to start to blend or not and go with the blue of the water, right? So, something, something. Glass. That's an interesting idea. All right, I've got, I have access to glass. I don't have access to all the dyes, but. So if I want to do colored glass, I've got some colors. I don't know that I've got a lot of brown, it's copper, oh no. Um, what do I have in the way of copper? Okay, I have some copper. Again, it's one of those things like I, I'm not up at the surface, so I'm not getting a huge amount of copper. And I don't have bees, so it will 100% oxidize, which isn't a bad thing. Okay. All right, hang on. Let's put some of the... Some of the... Uh, blocks I pulled up here. All right. So, step one. 100% we're going to use cut copper because, yeah. Um, I wonder a combination of copper and... Hang on, I want to take a look at this. Because it's... Well, it's going to go green, so... But let's take a look at the textures here. Okay, do I have a... I, I've got amethyst as well. Okay, it's going to... So I don't have bees, so it's going to oxidize. But... And... If it's going to go green, then let's take a look at glass. Glass. Let's take some green glass. Actually, it's maybe not green. Maybe, maybe cyan. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. I have access to blue dye. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and blue all of that. And now let's make some cyan dye. This might be the wrong color. Oh, that's going to be the wrong color. All right. Um, all right. I was just trying to find a color here that would sort of work for glass that would go with the green of the copper, which I know that's orange. It'll be green eventually. Uh, okay, but it, it also sort of bridge to the gray, because I kind of like the idea of mixing and matching these here. All right. Um, maybe some light, yeah. I, I was going the same place. Some lime green. Well, I have a lot of moss or a lot of uh, bone meal now. I'm a hundred percent missing the crafters in this world. I, 
I got a little spoiled by them over on Tinker. Eh, hey, Crystal, I was looking at the cyan, actually, and I think the cyan is going to be a... Obviously, that's orange, but when it oxidizes, I think the cyan is going to be a little too blue. But I just crafted up a bunch of cyan dye for this uh, very reason. All right, let's let's get some lime green dye. That's blue. Lime dye. Lime dye sounds like a character in a world somewhere. Some some D and D character. I'm sorry. You need to speak to Magistrate Lime Dye. You know, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's go ahead and craft this glass because. Um, let's just see it. All right, there's some lime, and there's some cyan. I can see why, like, the hermits and stuff just like to sell or just you work with oxidized copper and then strip back if they need it. I have not set up a copper field of any sort. Okay. Silk touch pickaxe. Working with glass, use the silky pickaxe. Thank you. All right, now. Again, we are going to pretend that, that is oxidized copper. You know, I'm looking at this and realized I have just made the goofiest face in the world. Um, yeah, it's like, hang on, it's it's just stupid, right? You've got. Uh, you got some eyes, you got some do I have I don't have here. Let's I've gotta do I've gotta do this. I am required by law now to do this. Buttons. Yep. The, this is now a, a legal requirement. I now have the, the goofiest looking dude in the world here. <laughs> Alright. I I'm sorry, but I, I had to. I can't stop myself. And this is going to haunt your dreams forever now. <sighs> anyway, yes, the uh, Copperfield joke has been... Pixel Rifts has this big redstone machine that he designed that will, will uh, oxidize copper and bring it all back when it's all oxidized that he calls David. Yep, it's the same same joke. It's It's been there, you know. Uh, all right. All right, so he's living there now. Um, right, so what I want to do is let's grab a few stairs. That's probably not enough. Let's grab a few more. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think he said taking the, the oxidized variety here and let's dump these dyes because yeah I think see I think I, I think crystal's right the cyan might work um, I'm just a little worried about it being too blue on the other hand I'm worried about the lime being too green so you know it's gonna be one of those things where it's like yeah okay all right. So working with chat, working with chat, I think we've got ourselves a nice set of colors here to start a fountain. Now, I could be wrong, but what we're going to be working with here, at least to get started with, is what we want is actually oxidized copper, but I don't have any, so I'm going to have to wait for regular copper to oxidize. Some smooth stone and then some that uh, cyan and lime green glass. Now, aside from making goofy faces in my base, I think it's also going to make a nice fountain here somehow. So let's get this thing laid out 
and figure out how this is going to work. Now, I think what I want to do is let's, oh, actually, you know what might work? Let's figure out, do I want a square fountain or a round fountain, first of all? Um, let's go, is that going to be big enough? I think so. One, two, three. We're, I know, I'm blocking this out with glass. It's okay. The panicking can happen. Uh, at some later date, actually, we're, I figure uh, at least three different layers of panicking are, are going to happen here based just off my color choices. This is going to be annoying to walk around. I'm going to be leaving it there forever. You know that, right? And so let's, I want to bring this this way a little bit. We'll let that start to oxidize. And maybe I don't want the, oh, ah, hey, look, let's put the blocks in the right place. I know, right? The face is just stupid. Okay. We are going to, we are definitely going to uh, combo this up here a little bit. Also, I'm about ready to take an axe to that bat. You know, it's just... Every once in a while... Darn it. Every once in a while, I'll see the bats just decide, No, I'm going to fly in front of your face all the time. And today is one of those days I'm not entirely sure I'm okay with it. Let's take out these center areas here. Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to take, let's take out this, yep, silk touch, which is good. Again, I'm working with glass, so that's a thing. Yeah. Drive me batty indeed. All right. So let's go ahead and I want to lay out the, I'm going to take the smooth stone, which seems like a good a good fountain base here. Now, I may change some things with this, but I think that's a good way to get started. And I want to take some of the cyan, actually. And actually, I probably, what I should do is get underneath that glass and put a little something else. Don't know what, but we'll... <laughs> Lava. Lava would not do good things with the moss, but. Okay. Ha. Huh. That is looking weird and I'm kind of okay with it. Am I okay with this? Chat, am I okay with things? I, I don't know anymore. I've, I've lost the idea the whole concept of okayness. Uh, sea lanterns. I don't have sea lanterns. And yes, it is a custom tree. This was... Uh, spoilers for an episode coming out in like three weeks. <laughs> it's uh, The trunk's a little thick. I'm going to be building another one right... I'm going to replace this pillar with another custom tree but I think I'm gonna leave that same basic shape. But I think I'm gonna have some fun with that one too. I'm, organics are not my, uh, like like just about everything else. I'm, oh, geez, monkeys. There's a stair there. Yeah, organics are one of those things that I have problems with. You know, it's just, I don't know. I can never seem to make them get the shape right, you know? All right. This looks really bad with the, with the orange copper, but okay. 
Yeah. A plan to attempt a large custom tree and dark oak and cherry leaves. Yes. This one is, it's spruce with dark oak hi highlights. See, the, the dark oak, um, like stairs and slabs, is basically the same color as the spruce bark. And then I just mixed in a little bit of cherry log. And, but it works out great because then I can use the dark oak branches. So it looks okay, kinda. But it's it's a little thick. It, it, he's a thick boy. Yeah, no, no. Copy away. Better yet, don't copy me. Make something better. <laughs> All right. So I think we've got a basic shape. Let's do something a little... Actually, you know what might be cool? Let's take some of the the gray. And what we're going to do... Hmm. Kind of... I'm going to take some of the, these gray slabs. And I know it's it's a little weird with the, the gray with the color. I think it's giving a, a little bit of contrast with the rest of the colorfulness right and i'm not sure this is going to work out right but i kind of like where this is going kind of um right now i'm just going to slap blocks down and see where it goes and see if maybe <laughs> maybe it turns into something cool and i don't know if i want to yeah let's don't want to no, I don't want to put the slabs there. I think what I want to do... So that's going to be green. Ah. Aha, 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 aha. Ha, ha. Um, nether trees. Wow. All right. Um, something tells me I may have to uh, build myself a... Another tree farm here in the not too distant future. All right, I mean I can do that, but oh, this is gonna go great once this is all oxidized. Look into the future. Okay, I do need something to go under the. Under the glass there. I would actually... Th I was thinking seriously about lava. And, yeah. Sea lanterns would be good. Frog lights would be good. I lack all of those things. Frog lights are a little bit easier. I mean, I ha still have to go get the frogs and set up the farm. But at least I know where all of that is. Okay. The way my client is just making the glass disappear or making the water disappear through the, the glass is a little funky, but. All right. But I do like the idea of taking a light. Oh. There's an idea. Uh, lights, lights, lights. The problem with... Oh, I have two shroom lights. Well, that's just awesome sauce. Okay. Because <sighs> I was thinking that some shroom lights underneath this green glass might be good, but... But no... And almost, if this was staying orange, I might go with it. But you know, I'm going to have to sit in AFK this just so I can get a good screenshot of it when it's done. Um, Yeah, okay. Cool. So that's going to go do that thing. I do want... 
a fountain and not a pool. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to put under the glass. So we'll just, uh, we'll figure out something here. But let's do, oh, actually, let's try something here. Maybe just a smooth stone. Yeah, that's. You might be right. I was kind of thinking of something that I could come in with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of light. But yeah, you might be right. Yeah, let's go ahead and just let us give it a try. It's a trying. Okay. Okay, I live here now. Wow. All right. This is. No, that's just not happening. Cool. All right. We're, we're just going to, we'll use the smooth stone. Fine. Because inventory is a thing that I don't do well. At least I'm right here by my storage system and I can. I keep calling it a storage system. It's a pile of chests, right? It's just. Okay. That's not at all what I was looking for, but it's okay. And some moss. Yeah, that'll work. It'll work if I can keep the moss in my hands. There we go. So what if we do something a little crazy? I don't know if this is going to work, but let's come out of this with some something. I, I, I need something. I need walls, fences. I want to come up. Let's Let's get some... Cause I kind of like the idea of this green that we got going on here. So do I still have some? Maybe not. Okay, cool. Gonna have to make some more. Please tell me I have more of that. I do. Okay. All right. Something crazy like a fish fountain. <laughs> Another creeper pino. I'm gonna bring this up this kind of this way. Yes, for those of you who missed that many years ago, I tried building a creeper statue and I let chat and my kids uh, convince me to turn it into a jalapeno. It was a little crazy. <laughs> and it looked really cool. So, you know, I can't say they were wrong. Okay, so that's going to be there. It was, oh yeah, the Creeper Pino was, was an adventure in and of itself. I was experimenting with building at angles and it was, a, it was a, an adventure, I, I have to say. I do need some light. Maybe what would be good here? Because I kind of like this coming up. I want it to be taller. But let's, yeah, spicy. It was a spicy choice. Yeah. Okay, and stuff. There we go. All right. Friends and neighbors, Romans and countrymen. Um. Darn it. Um, okay, I do have some mob drops. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and cook up some chorus fruit. And we are going to build a quick and dirty farm here. Um, Righto. Dirt and grass. I have an entire 
chest full of uh, and a shulker box full of of uh, end stone in my inventory. I could use that instead of hunting for it in my storage, but it's okay. All right. Quick and dirty. Um. <laughs> yeah, enjoy, and I hope the fountain actually ends up turning out okay. Um. They really don't need to be that far apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, I guess I can do more. I have seven flowers, so. Oh. I'm going to. So I've got a couple things. Obviously, in my future, I'm going to have to worry about. A blaze farm is one of them, and a. Chorus Farm is another one. If I want to do end rods. So let's let those grow. I do have a couple of end rods, so we're going to do some testing here. Lights, lights, lights. Okay. Because... Did I pick up the end rods? Did I? Oh, I left them in the end stuff. Okay. <sighs> Confusion is a thing. Confusion was not just a Chinese philosopher. I know it was Confucius, but still. All right. Um, scaffolding. All right, so I'm not going to be using that stone. I just need some temp blocks. So I want to turn some things around, you know. It's like Gloria Stefan. I want to, I want to turn the beat around and. Okay, I'm that. That sorry, that joke was a stretch. We're gonna. Okay. Too much Andrade goodness there? Is it? Is that too? Gets too skinny? Maybe not. Maybe so. I I like the premise. I think it, but yeah, it might be a little. It might be a little too skinny, but we're gonna see. Let's go ahead and take out and move some fence around. I could also play this game with, uh, by using, I don't know, lightning rods, maybe something like that. Instead of the end rods. I don't know, because lightning is better than the end. I Okay, but... I do kind of like this. And then I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some water down in the middle here. Okay, that could be a thing. Could totally be a thing. Let us see what the thing is. Let's take some of this happy chorus fruit. And some blaze rods. Mob drops. There we go. Yeah, I keep, uh, I keep losing my stuff. Again, the, the drawback of using um, multiple storage rooms is I keep forgetting. It's like, oh, is it over here? Is it over there? Because I'm inconsistent about how I lay out my storage rooms. The, this building does look a little bit like a uh, Poke Center of some sort. Either that or it's just really happy. All right, so. Let's 
All right, it's not bad, but it does need some stuff above it, I think. And I think what I'm going to do is let's take I don't know, would the cyan glass look good on top of that? It might. Seriously it might. I kind of worry about being able to place blocks in the right place. Um, apparently that's a skill that is really, really difficult. Hmm. All right. Is the glass too clear? <laughs> There's a question. Hi, I'm looking at this glass. Is it too clear? Is it, uh, is that the wrong color? Is it, uh, would I be better off putting some eventually oxidized copper on top of these dealy bobs? The green trap doors. Yeah. Ah, actually, you know what might be good on, on those is um, banners. Banners might be the way to go there. Okay. Oops, I need more glass. All right, I didn't make a lot of cyan glass. And then I use some of it for uh, the silly face I've got here. Cyan glass. Okay. Put the die away, put this extra lapis away because I'm good at managing my inventory. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the cyan. And then, yeah, we're, I think, I think with a couple of interesting banners hanging off the sides of this so they hang down. Okay. And yeah, see that turn off the gamma override. The end rods provide some light, which is good. Okay. Oxidize faster. All right. So let's see now. And maybe just to make my life per potentially easier. Was it four blocks apart? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. We're just going to let some of this oxidize here. Hopefully, hopefully it'll oxidize just fine. And uh, one, two, three, four. And fast enough, perhaps. All right. All right, so let's see. What do I want to do? I do like the idea of adding some other color here. Right, because this is going to be... Got the green. I do like the gray. I think I might change these lime stairs out for, or these line blocks oh that's an idea what if i don't change the line blocks what if i just remove them okay so the glass or the the water comes to the corners Ooh, that's an interesting Look, I kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's a, that's fun. All right. The experiments are ongoing, but I removed the lime glass from the corners and let just let the water shine through. 
And I think that's working out okay. And we brought these pillars up with some end rods, uh, which one lights up the fountain, which would be good because light is life down here. Without it, everything is just dark and gloomy and to bring life into the, the city, I need light. So this is doing okay. Um, I think the next step here is, is something to sort of top off this. I'm not entirely sure what, but it needs a little bit of something. And I think I want to add some banners around these glass blocks. And I am going to want to run some water down the middle of this column, I think. So, yeah, so that's going to be the next step. Let's go ahead and build up a little bit higher to some form of sort of fountain. Do you need a roof on a fountain? Maybe a little something up here so it looks like the water is coming from someplace. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see how this goes. And I'm out of fans. So many cats. I need to get some fish. I've got a black cat I totally need to tame. Managed to catch that dude in a boat. Okay, so... All right, so let's go ahead and here we go. All right, so we'll put that up and then I think Hmm. I need a little bit of something. Don't know what, but a little something. And I think maybe I actually want to bring this up higher. Hmm. Okay. Because tall is good, right? Little little vertical action going on here. I mean, I could just replicate that and then maybe instead of the glass at the top, we'll do some of the, uh, some of the copper maybe. All right, well, let's, Temporary blocks. Okay. Okay. Do I have more? No. Actually, what I would need, let's take those out. So I'm going to go ahead and put these fence posts in and we're burning through this, uh, this stuff in a hurry. Uh, okay. That's a gate. That would be really awkward. Okay. I look at the your cat. All right. The next part of that line is something involving fat, but I'm not sure where I'd want to go with that. Okay, so let's take that and then okay, yeah, I think maybe a little copper in between here. Okay, I knew I couldn't jump up there. That was a test. That was a it was totally a test. Um. Do I want, yeah, I do like the idea of some form of stairs action coming out here. Let's do, let's do this. Let's eat a carrot. Carrots are delicious. Big fan of the carrots. All right. Here's what I want to do. We're going to take some. I'm gonna take some slabs, and this is one of those times we're gonna trust the process, okay? I forgot that I had swift sneak. 
It's like, why am I sneaking so fast? Am I not crouching? No, crouching's fine. I am just sneaky. All right, now let's take a stair. And I want to come in. We're going to come in with these upside down. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to work out okay. We're going to get some of the green. Yeah, I think I, I think this is going to go okay. Um, of course, it would be a little bit better if I actually had the stairs in my inventory. There we go. And cool. And let's take some of these slabs, which will, again, go to something cool. It'll oxidize. That's... Okay. Now we're going to take the stairs out. We're just going to put them in as slabs. Okay. Just the... There was a little too much dangly action going on. And I... Whoa. Okay. Right, because you had the... They had the pillars there, so having the stairs hang down and stuff was just a little bit too much. But... Here's where things are going to get a little bit funky. And I'm not upset by it in some ways. Let's get some water. Water. You know, am I the only one who thinks that uh, copper should oxidize faster if it's exposed to water? I don't know if it that's makes sense chemically, but it's kind of how I feel. Okay. We're gonna, this is gonna be really awkward. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's pick up this, copper is too valuable. I don't have that much of it. The fact that you could actually swim up and stand on top of that is, is actually kind of silly, and uh, I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with silly, you know. All right. Yeah, see, this is starting to change. Cool. So I may have to... <sighs> Once some of this changes, we'll oxidize more and see what we can do but i don't have any honey so if i want something to stay at this stage i'm kind of out of luck but yep honey for him in my future that's i just built one on tinker i don't want to build another one that kind of means do i need to take these this glass out or replace it with something else I kind of like it being hmm. all right let's figure out some let's figure out some banners um I've got lots of wool so let's take some cyan wool nope we are not taking anything because I have no inventory space. That's uh, just cool. All right. Glass goes away. All right. I'm also going to need a fletching table, I think. All right. Take some cyan. Let's take some... 
right? Remember, the orange is going away. It's all going to turn the the oxidized green. Um, but I want a little bit of something. I can add. I can either go with some gray or. Wait a minute. When you, all right, let's let's craft up a loom. Or let's see, do I have one? No. All right. Cool. So it's a loom. Wool or is it string? A loom is string. Cool. Well, I've got a little bit of that, so we can do, we can do the thing. Brick goes away, string goes away, loom goes somewhere. All right. So if I put, oh, I have to make the banner first. Right. Banner. And then, oh, it's a die, isn't it? <sighs> okay. Dies, dies, dies. Let's go ahead and just try the white die. Okay, now. Let's see. The other option is to start with a white banner and dye it. But um Okay. That could be fun with I don't know what I don't know. All right, we're just going to we're just going to play with this and see if I can come up with something kind of interesting maybe. Not that one. One I think might be too big perhaps. Um Oh yeah, this is the this is the part where I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that's... I mean, okay, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Someone used to tell the weather whether it's supposed to be spring. Are you getting snow up there, Crystal? Oh, that could be fun. If I were to go... All right, but I want to change this. I don't like the... I don't like the cyan. I want to start with a white banner, or do I want to start with a... I could start with orange, but remember, the orange is going away. It's snowing for the third day in a row. Nice. <laughs> I mean... It's that April showers, right? No one said they had to be rain showers. They could be snow showers, right? It's all good. Okay. White banner, please. Thank you. All right. Oh, I need some cyan dye as well. All right. White banner, cyan. We're going to go loop. And let's go <sighs> bloop. No, but it's, it's okay. I'm just thinking. See, that one's fun. Um, see, I like this design. Um, I'm not sure the white is the way to go. I've done this before with um, 
see, I like the sign. Let's let's hang this up and just see what this looks like on the. So they're destined to drive to airports in the snow. Well, you know, some people have superpowers. That one's yours. I like the banner. I don't like the pattern. Is this your trip out west, Crystal? And if so, happy travels. And if not, happy travels as well. You know. <laughs> ah. I like it. I don't like the white, but <clears throat> at least it's not full blizzard. You got that going for you. Driving in blizzards is not as much fun as it sounds. Ah, nice. Well, have all the fun in the world. Okay, maybe not all the fun. Leave a little bit of fun for the rest of us, but, you know. All right, what should that white be? Because the white, the white is wrong. Okay, the, the white is just absolutely wrong. Lime and the... So lime and regular green or lime and cyan? I have all the wools, so I can, what I've got there for the white, I can make any color I want to. Lime and cyan, okay. All right, well, let's try lime. We are going to try the things. Things are going to be tried and I'm going to be using so much dye here. Okay. Lime banners. Cool. All right. Banner cyan. And so we go with this steely bob. I don't know about this one. Oops, I screwed that up. I guess it's not too horrible. That's a possibility. I've done this before where I did um I did orange and the and the cyan, which is like the dolphins. Um Remember all of this copper is going oxidized, so I've got a bat splashing around in the pool. Okay. Bat's probably never seen water before in its life, and this is the only chance it's ever going to have to take a bath. And admittedly, those of us who have to smell it are appreciative of its bathing. Not sure I like the the lime um all right i do like a a contrasting color though i could try yellow that might be a little bit better um so the white is too too plain okay so i could go with yellow i could go with orange I know cyan and orange work well together. I think if I make it pink, I mean, pink would work. I think it might, would it blend in too much? Would it bring the color of the pink out there in this way? Don't know, but we are going to find out. It's a question we all have. So pink and inventory space. Cool. All right. Fortunately, I have lots of green and blue, so I can make cyan dye a lot. Okay, pink banner. Go. 
Big banner, cyan. We get our little dealy bob here. We get our uh, little stripiness there. Get our border. Okay. See, I remember doing this before. Okay, so I don't, so I don't like the white. So that's not bad. It's not bad. It definitely brings in um, something. Definitely brings out some of the the pink of the building behind it. Um, and there is a little bit of that pinkish purple in the end rods, though. Mostly it's just gray. Okay, those are starting to change, which is great. Um, actually, I think those are fully oxidized. Cool. Hang on, let's oxidize more. Now, super secret trick. Things oxidize faster when they're next to something that's oxidized. So, actually, I think I'm gonna place those there. All right, so there's the lime, there's the pink. I don't know, what else do we do with this? Um, okay, let's, the other one I know works would be orange. I don't think I want to, because I know the orange goes well with that, but you know, I'm trying to, right, I'm not going to be leaving any of the unoxidized copper. It's all going to change. I'm going to get some orange. I am. I'm going to get orange. It's, it's going to be a thing. Let's get some orange. As I said, I know this, I know the orange is going to look good with the cyan because those are the team colors of the Miami Dolphins, or at least it was at one point in their history. Don't know if it still is, but okay. Orange, cyan, dealy bob, stripey dealies, and border dealy. Okay. All right, and Oops, that's not where that's going to go. Quit playing in the fountain. Thank you. All right. So I'm not totally sold on the lime here. So take that out, throw that orange in, and all right, what do you think up there? I think we think we go with the orange. Do we go with the pink? Do we chuck it all and start a think tank in Washington D.C. and make a fortune selling problems to uh, enrich ourselves? It's hard to say. Also, I like ginger ale. It's tasty. All right. Or am I just spending too much time bike shedding this thing and uh, just pick one and move on? Those are both, that's definitely a valid option here. I think I want to not go with the orange. Yeah, I think the orange is, it's too orange. Right, which, yes, it, 
makes sense, but I I took the lime green glass out, so that's not really a thing anymore. Mm. I'm not liking how the water is disappearing behind the glass, but I think that's a resource pack problem. All right, well, this is silly. This is just silly. All right. Well, forget it. I'm going with the pink. All right, I'm, I we're just gonna go with the pink. The pink is a thing. It's 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 a thing. All right, cat. <laughs> My cat's over there just, he's got the zoomies. That's just, what was I looking for? I was looking for inventory space. That's what I was looking for. Okay, excuse me. We're gonna go, let's put the cyan back. All right, let's get some more pink and we'll, we'll just make a couple more banners and We'll see how this goes. Ah, we'll just grab a bunch. Yep. Yeah, old fluffy boy Zumi. Well, he's the poor guy. He's been here kind of on his own because. Ah, because, you know, my wife is gone this week, taking my daughter to college. And while she'll be back today, poor guy's been left by himself most of the day, and he's not been happy with that situation. All right, oops, not in the... Oh, I need to bring the banner... Can't copy the banner if you don't have the banner. That's how this works. You get the banner and then you copy it and it's all the banner. I think it's weird that... Uh, yeah. Okay. I think it's weird that you use the crafting table to copy the banner rather than um, the loom. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It just strikes me as weird. Not. Turns out you can't copy the uh, banners onto stone. It would be kind of cool if you could, but you can't. So. It's in the way, but it's just stupid and I'm going to keep it. All right. All right, yeah, see, I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be okay. Just have to uh, wait for all the copper to oxidize. All right. <sighs> well, I've spent way too much time bike shedding it, but I think these banners are going to look pretty okay here. Now... Still waiting for all of this copper to oxidize, and I've set up my own little David Copperfield over here, so I know the joke is is been overused, but we're doing it anyway because that's the way we roll. But once all of this copper changes and turns green, I think this is gonna be a fairly nice fountain overall. What's a little bit silly about it is if you come up here, the water actually starts at the top of the fountain. But, you know, it's it's okay. It's okay. All in all, I think we've got ourselves a nice little fountain. And if we turn off the uh, gamma override, it gives us a fair amount of light. And it looks okay. Now, what's unfortunate, or maybe fortunate, I don't know. I think glow squid are going to spawn in this thing. Which will definitely add its own special breed of life to the fountain. But... I guess we'll see how it goes. 
All right, so. Cool, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait for all of the, these to change, but. The shape is definitely good. Reminds you of a warp core? Yeah. There's actually a couple of, um, what was I playing with? There are a couple of trap doors. Might be the red ones, the crimson ones. The mangrove ones are okay too, but the, no, it's the acacia. Because the acacia have the solid bars. Oh, those look wonderful in front of either the blue water. Um, but they also look nice in front of lava. So they tend to blend in with the lava a little bit. Okay, we have a fountain. We also have ridiculous amounts of copper now doing coppery things. Um, right. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, we'll get all of this rail out. I will at some point probably need more of that rail, but for now, it's going to do its thing. Okay. Rails, there we go. Dies, we're done with for the moment. Okay. Just keep that leftover wool there for now. Copper. Actually, let's, um, do I have a mob drops? Mob drops, there it is. Yeah, let's make a shulker box or two. I'm going to need them for things. All right. Shulkers go into the thing. I just have, I've got too much deep slate going on here, which is a good problem to have, but Regular deep slate, thank you. Yes. I think, is the rest of that cobbled? I think so. Cool. Of course, this would be easier to do if I had more inventory space, but, oh well. Just, uh, compress some of this down into the into a couple of shulker boxes just to free up space in here. Now, when I've... Okay. Don't let that despawn. That would be annoying. Shulker boxes are expensive. Um, yeah. When I get my new storage system in place with the auto sorting and all of that stuff, that'll be so much easier. All right. Oh, I have kicked something under my desk. Now it's funny. Okay. Stop that. All right. Nice. Now, copper is oxidizing. We're going to, again, take advantage of that fact. Um... So now I'm just debating. Um, the next question is, what do I want to do around this road? And what sort of tree do I want to do here? So let's start by cleaning all of this out and laying down some moss. And I think I do want to run something down the center of this. You know, the way I set up the this happy area up here, right? Because I've added all of these water pools and things. I'm actually sort of wondering if I don't kind of go with a semi-flooded city vibe, right? Where I maybe take some gutters along the side here and fill them with water. And then... I could run some sort of lighted path between them. Um, you know, that could be cool. I'm just... I don't know. It's 
road designs can be fun and exciting, but take all of that out. But honestly, I don't know what I want it to do. I don't know what I, what, what I want it to look like. I don't know anything. Which uh, should surprise nobody who spent any time watching this these streams. Like, I'm like, do you know anything about anything? It's like, yeah, some days. Some days I do. And then there's days like today. All right. Take all of this out. I should pick up this deep slate. It's. I should also maybe not use deep slate. Cobble deep slate is a little more useful. I can't pick it up, but it is still more useful. <clears throat> yeah, because with the ah, excuse me. Yep, my I, I'm still all froggy from allergies and morning voice and all that fun stuff. But I kind of wonder if I don't know something should happen. I do want to get that gold? But we'll clean up a bunch of this stuff first. Clean out my old water source. Nope. So let's so let's think about this. What would what would make a good um, I don't know some good highlights around the path, right? Or, or along the road. See, I could do... I could do the gutters, which would look fairly cool, to be honest. Axolotls won't spawn here because I'm not in a... Um, uh, uh, um, whatever the green cavey dealy bobs are called. The uh, lush cave. Copper. I mean, it would be kind of nice if they did, but they won't. Because, you know, axolotls are cute. I do kind of like the idea of running the end stone around. Obviously, I want to run the endstone around the fountain. It's just a question of how I do it. I do like having the uh, boss and stuff around a little bit, so we'll figure that out. And I should... Yeah, let's, let's take this out. I need to move my cows, too. I just don't know where I want to put them. They should go somewhere. But... The, uh, the where is a separate question. Of course, there's also the question of whether or not I need the cows in the first place. I brought them down so that I would have them if I wanted to farm them for leather. But, uh, I, so because I'm thinking of building a bartering farm so that I can get gold and, um, well, not gold, quartz, actually. And I get leather from bartering farms, so, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a question. I don't have a good answer for it, but it's definitely a question. All right, let's put the rails away and wool away. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, lots of interesting thoughts and questions and blocks that I didn't pick up. All right. Well, I know I do not need. Yeah, I gotta go around. I I know I don't need like this carpet. The iron ore, at least, that's potentially useful for decorative nonsense, but I'm doing pretty okay with moss. And no, I'm not naming my machine Carrie Ann. <laughs> it's bad enough that we've got one machine that's just consistently named after somebody. Don't need another one. All right. All right. So now, the the I suppose the next question would be why didn't I take a screenshot of this before I started to uh, replace everything this before stream started. That would have been a nice before and after picture, right? All right. Okay. Oh, right. Inventory space. I have it. Let's get this. Uh... That's it, huh? All right. Well, that's fine. It's only one gold, I guess. I guess it's fine. But yeah. Okay, I just punched a bat. I'm not sure the bat appreciated it, but I found it somewhat funny. Okay. All right, so all of this moss now. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this, but we shall see. Wow, that's all in the wrong place, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is this area is starting to look a little bit better. Wow. Yeah, this area is starting to look a little bit better with all of the green. Um, it'll look even better once I add the lighting under the the floor. But, but yeah, the actually some of this I want to replace with. Yeah, probably three wide, as I need a I need roads. We definitely need roads. And... Ah, that's just not where that goes. Oh, yes, that's right. The uh, Check out the Music Free Static podcast. Just recorded a new one today. A little rambling, but... <clears throat> talking about streaming and stuff, so... Streaming and streaming platforms and things like that. So it was a fun one to record. All right. So let's see now. I need stuff. Or is the go deer? Okay. Grab our... I kind of want endstone slabs just regular endstone slabs not the brick slabs just regular all right so so here's the other question right i was thinking i might do gutters along the edge of the roads so I, which would be very wet potentially Another option 
is to figure out something that I can do along the edge of the roads that would bring light. Okay, because, again, I need light in this city, and if I could at least have the roads lit, it's the major ones, then uh, that, that would be helpful, right? So the question then is, what goes around the roads? I mean, I, I could just moss and moss carpet around them and such, but... Okay, it is, it is going. Okay. Do I trust my ability to uh, turn on my machines? No, no, I don't. Might as well use this uh, XP to heal my pickaxe while I'm at it. But yeah, I just I just don't know, right? It's there's a I don't know. It's I'm I'm trying to have words and I don't know what words are anymore apparently. So. Creativity has left the building, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, seriously, creativity deserves a break once in a while and should maybe take a vacation from time to time, but I kind of need creativity around, so if they would just maybe wait for me to actually get my projects done before disappearing, that would be great. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Definitely at a loss. No, it's one of those things like I'm I'm sitting here trying to think, and it kind of hurts my brain. No, I'm right because I've got a lot of. I think it might be a case of decision paralysis, where I've got all of the options ahead of me, and I don't quite know how I want to approach it because I've just so many choices. It's like restaurants a few years ago realized that their customers are actually happy when they when um, some of the uh, items were removed from the menu because that then they weren't stressed as much about uh, about what to pick. Because they had fewer, because they had fewer choices, they were able to decide faster, and they were happy about it. You know, I'm not sure how much I uh, agree with that stance, but you know, it it's a thing. Okay, so we've got this going on now. It's a little bit hard to see what's happening because there's copper all over everything. But there's another cat going by, so that's something at least. Yeah, the cats are all spawning around my villager breeder over here, so. You know, they're, they like to run in and out of stuff. You know, it's, it's good. Okay, so. Right, so what to do about these paths? Now I could said just moss them and light them, which is an uh, which is definitely an option. Um, a little bit boring, but definitely an option. Right, just obviously street lamps are a thing, but. I want something with a little more consistent lighting because I don't have daylight. Um, despite what's happening over there because of rendering. Yeah, it's it's not rendering that, that back wall. So what we get is sunset. It is kind of fun that I actually can see sunset in here, but hey, rendering. Um, right. Do I need to get the Bobby mod or something to... Uh, Deal with that. 
Okay. Um, Righto. What was I doing? Something. I was doing a thing, and I don't remember what. It's okay. Right, so if that's going to go that way, we're going to go around here. Let's... Let's go this way, at least. So I do need to get around the fountain. And I am thinking of that we're going to go around... Give it two blocks this way. And I was... I did have the question in my... My wee little mind is, do I want to take this as, um, do I want to put a, a circle around it, or it would do that? Yeah, you know. Okay, or do I just want to leave it square? Now, I, I have heard that it is hip to be square. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll go that route, but. Am I the only one who expects that song to show up in the Minecraft movie? Probably, but. Ah, so that's been filming, I guess it's. There are a few interesting pictures that have come out that uh, make one wonder a little bit. Oh, let's grab my shovel. It's like they had a, a bunch of uh, pictures of a bunch of fairly famous Minecraft YouTubers down in New, New Zealand where they're filming the Minecraft movie. And, you know, it makes you wonder a little bit. You know, what's... Uh, Are they going to be doing something kind of fun and silly with that? Or go get that, some of those blocks here in a minute. All right. I think what I want to do is let's get some end stone. Because I think they, I think I saw, I think I saw a picture that had like Lizzie and Mumbo Jumbo and. Some of those fun people down there. Yeah. Was the LD Shadow Lady, for those of you who don't actually know who uh, Lizzie is. Um, I actually don't know her personally. It's just everybody refers to her as Lizzie, so that's sort of where I'm at. Um, yeah, let's go and pop these corners. Yeah. I kind of like that. Okay, I can't do that here because I've got a, some of the road goes there. It's okay. Um, though I do kind of like the idea of replacing some of this brick road with uh, basically cobblestone. It's like, oh yeah, there's brick and there's cobble and there's, you know. Right, kind of like popping that in there. And just a little bit of, a little bit of cobble in places, right? Yeah, we'll just sort of smooth out these corners a touch. That's not how that's supposed to go at all. All right, well, that dirt will be grass soon. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Well, this is definitely looking greener anyway. Again, I still don't know what I want to do with the, to edge the road. I'm putting in the moss because it's easy to take out, but. Okay. So, all right, let's take a look at this and figure out what to do here. So, 
Again, it's a little bit harder to, to do because we've got all of this copper hanging around, but I have to get some more carrots here in a minute. Holy bats, Batman. There are a zillion of them out here. <laughs> there are three. There are at least two or three more spawning over there. All right. Come here. Come here, bat. I don't, know if there's a, I don't necessarily need to turn off bat spawning. There just are a lot of them. <laughs> and they are a little, they're a little more frenetic than bats are in real life. Just, just saying. Okay. There, that'll show them, right? Yeah. I don't mind the bats actually to some extent because they give a their movement. It's if we had birds in the overworld, you know, that'd be kind of nice. Hey, Ram, welcome in. Glad to have you here. Hope your day is going well. Okay. Yeah, retexture the bats as butterflies. Yeah, that's an idea. Though I'm in an ancient city, so having them be bats makes sense. <laughs> You know. Okay, so great. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do for the the sides of the road. Um, I just do not have a good answer to that. That is sitting underneath. There, there. We'll just tuck that in. That'll be fine. Because, yeah, I would love to do something here along the sides that will be a light source, right? Because, listen, if I turn off the gamma override, it's dark in here, right? So I need, I, I would like something more than street lamps to give functional lighting. And then I could use street lamps to give decorative lighting. Um... And I just don't know how I want to do it. And it's... Because, again, I could just go boring. Because right now I've got everything lined here with moss, at least in this area. So I could just go with the moss carpet over the glow lanterns. Or this the glowstone. That would be a reasonable thing, I suppose. You know, nothing too crazy, I guess. All right, I'm overthinking it. It happens. It happens a lot, actually. All right, let's just go ahead and put the, the end stone away. Um, right. I don't think I have any glowstone, or if I do, it's not much. Yeah. All right, let's go on a shopping spree here. Iron. I have iron. I have a lot of iron. It's the nice thing about having an iron farm, I suppose. Honestly, this is why I have an iron farm. It's for the emeralds. Okay, I also have it for the hoppers, but, you know. Okay. You've got... That's, oh, that's right. Glowstone, glowstone is expensive. Right. Okay. Right. So I'm going to have to spend some time farming some emeralds, I suppose. Yeah. We... Yeah. Th those three emeralds are not going to cut it. Well, cheese monkeys. Okay. Oh, look. Another black cat. Nice. I still don't have any fish to tame it, but... I've got one trapped in a boat because I didn't want at least one black cat, but yeah, aren't you cute? 
All right. So this will work, I suppose. Let's go ahead and did I two, three in between? All right. Well, let's just do it. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll just we'll just line the roads oops this way. Okay. You know, just to just to get it done. Alright, now when I come to intersections, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. Um and how to continue, right? Because this would go here, and then one, two three go there two three i think it goes there <laughs> so obviously i don't want this to be dark but i have some issues here so we'll oh well that's fine we'll do it this way i think that's maybe really obvious but you know it's a it's a thing we'll go with it Sometimes the obvious options are not bad. <laughs> I also think I'm going to go ahead and line the inside of this. Oops. Take out the... I was using lanterns as underfloor lighting for a while because I didn't have... I didn't have enough to do glowstone. So we just, I just stuck with the lanterns because that's what I had. And it works. I mean, you can't see it. So, and it gives the same light level, I suppose. But you do get really clanky when you walk across it, which maybe isn't a bad thing, but. I don't know. We'll see. What's, what's the time to, okay. My villager should be waking up soon. So many cats. All the cats. They are very cat-like. All right. Ever notice the Minecraft cats all have the zoomies? It's like, nope. We are going to run all over the place, and it's okay. Hi. Please, more XP. Or more to the point, more emeralds. Okay. Great. Okay, yeah, not the, not the greatest amount of uh, emeralds in the world, but we'll, uh, we'll go with it. Two, three there I'm now tripping over my copper which is cool two three four would go there one two three there one all right and then one two three one would go there so we'll we'll see how consistent I suppose this is but At least if I bring all of this coming through this way, it'll it'll light up some of this these areas here. Like obviously, I should clean this out and put moss in. Um, you know, it'll it'll work, I guess. Yeah, and there are some of these places like I have no idea how I'm going to deal with all of this, but hey, we got this. Is carpet there? Yep. Okay. Cool. One, two, three. That goes there. One, two, three. And I'm already out. Cool. Alright, I'm going to have to get a uh, light block farm going of some sort. Probably frog lights. Because I just built a uh, 
a farm in Tinker World with uh, all of the happy guardians. And so I don't really want to do that here right now. That was a fun farm to build, though. I have to admit, that was that was fun. Okay, are we full up on moss again? Yeah, cool. God, I love the moss machine. All right. So we'll get the rest of this going. I do need a a little bit of something in the middle here. Okay. Also, they should be waking up. Let's go ahead and and change. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was a it was a farm. I was wasn't sure it was going to work, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> I need to uh, AFK there a little bit while I'm while I'm editing videos today. Hi. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. One, two, three. But yeah, I think a good frog light farm would be good. Those things. Those things put out so much. So many uh, blocks, it's actually really awesome. And they're really simple to build. I don't know if I want to do anything really crazy with this one here. Okay. Yeah, what do you know? Okay, nice. So we should have light coming across here. I'll leave those torches up on the cow pen just because I think it's cute decorative nonsense up there. Yeah. Poor frogs having to eat all day long. All right. Hang on, let's get some some more copper here and copper. Where did I put you? There it is. You know one of my least favorite things about copper is how much inventory take space it takes to store it. Especially once you start waxing it and stuff because then it's just like Hi, I've got 87 varieties of copper. Could we, uh... Yeah, because there's waxed... I mean, because each copper thing has four stages, right? That's obnoxious. Take that one off. I'm kind of surprised that none of those have, have oxidized yet. And I know, they say, yep, four blocks between, but once they start to oxidize, once they have oxidized, it speeds up the oxid oxidization process of all the other blocks around them. So they do tend to go a little bit faster once they start that. Built your entire beta site with copper. Nice. Yeah, copper's not a block I'm particularly excited about. It's not a, not really a color I like. The orange or even the, the oxidized green is not really my, my jam. But you know it works. All right, so now, now I think we've got ourselves. Oh right, let's finish covering up these lights. You know, darn it, just to make this uh, screenshot ready. Yes, you always have to have your build screenshot ready, right? <laughs> it's been a running joke I, I, in and amongst some of the uh, Minecrafters I watch. It's like, yes, yes, this build is, it's done. Well, okay, it's screenshot ready. It's, it's got the front facade and that's about it. There. That'll give the light. I'd much rather have the glowstone just because it sounds better when you walk over it. 
Yeah, when you walk over that, you get the clanky of the the lights, but it's all right. Cool. So yeah, see now that's looking a little bit better light wise, right? And this is the idea. The, the plan is I should be able to come in here without the uh, gamma override. And yes, it'll be dark <clears throat> because I'm in a cave. But it'll be... The city will be alive. It'll be lit up and shining and lovely. All right. Okay, so, all right, so that's a thing. So for the moment, along the paths, I'm just going with the uh, glowstone under the carpet, and it works. Also, I'm sorry about all the copper. That'll go away eventually. But, but yeah, you can see how it's lighting up the roads, and, that's, and the, the city as a whole, and that's definitely what I'm going for. I still think it's not quite great, and I think I want to put a little something here in the middle of these types of roads where it's divided because of the staircase and stuff. I'm not sure what I want to put here yet. I'm certainly not going to be able to put diamonds there, but the color would be cool. I've got wool. I could, I suppose, put wool down. That's an idea. But I think the next step is I want to take this pillar and I want to turn it into a custom tree. I like having the pillar there just as an object. I like having it there, but I don't like it being the pillar. So let's take this and let's convert it into a custom tree in a planter maybe? That, that could be fun. Okay, yeah, that could be all sorts of fun. In fact, let's take a quick screenshot. All right. Now, also, I'm going to need some food. Food is definitely a thing I am lacking right now. Lights go in there. Got a lot of moss on me. That's okay. Um, right. Oh, food. That's what I'm here for. Food, tools, trees. Food. There it is. All right, so let's start with the planter. I kind of like the like the idea of keeping it deep slate. Um, obviously, the the skeleton skull is gonna go. But what if I were to take this out? Uh, maybe take out the stairs and let's leave it. Let's leave it slabs. Okay. Sorry, I was just thinking, and I'm not sure I like the idea of thought. You know, it's, it's painful and slow. All right. But let's grab some tile slabs. Because I do like kind of like the idea of the planter, though I may add a little bit more something around it. Now, the question is, what sort of tree should this be? Right? It is going to be a two-by-two two tree of some sort. I've got the... I've got this custom cherry tree living there in the background, and I don't... Oh, sorry, my nose itches. As I started the stream, allergies are killing me. Um, I don't want to do cherry because I don't want it to blend in with that one. Oh, there's a cat in the tree. Now, I was thinking I could... My, my first thought actually was to take basalt and use basalt as the trunk. But I do kind of like the deep slate planter. And if I did a basalt trunked tree, or a, perhaps probably actually smooth basalt, maybe, something like that, it would be... Uh, that wouldn't work. So let's take something... Oh, actually, you know what might work out okay? What if I were to take some stripped birch? 
as the trunk. That could be cool. And then, right, because I, I don't think I want to go oak. I don't have any jungle logs, so I, I've got jungle trees. I can go get those. Um, Acacia, no, I don't, mangrove, maybe. No, I kind of like the idea of this being birch. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that away. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go stripped birch for this tree. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this out. Oh, I should probably get more birch. Hang on. I thought that was gonna be enough. I don't think it actually will be. I mean, again, then again, it might be, but we're gonna we're gonna err on the side of caution here. Okay, now this there's just so much stuff. All right. Okay, just, uh, whoa, got to make sure they're all facing the right way, though. Okay, yeah, see, I think this is going to, yeah, I think that's going to work. I wanted a, I want a lighter colored tree, and this one is going to be green leaves and not pink, but. All right. I think this is going to be fine, right? Why did I talk myself into doing organics? Okay. So that's the trunk of the tree. All right, I do need to get some cherry blossoms and just lay them out and around because of no, they're blowing this way. So I should layer some on the ground out there, but okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work great with using the uh, stripped birch logs as the trunk of the tree. And yes, okay, it's stripped, but we're just going to pretend this is a... Uh, light colored tree and it's all good the next step is going to be to figure out how to make these branches go obviously i'll be using birch fences and and trap not trap doors uh, gates and things but i need to figure out what sort of leaves is this thing gonna have right and i i'm definitely thinking some form of bright green would be good so i might go with the oak or maybe, maybe the mangrove? Let's see what I've got and we'll uh, go from there. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead. And it turns out I did end up having plenty of stuff. So that's fine. Tough goes away, deep slate goes away. Okay, done with the Deep slate and stone. And the dirt. Cool. So yeah, the um, oak leaves are definitely bright. I could, I could try to go with some azalea, right? So I can get some flowering azalea leaves. That could be cool. Let's grab some saplings there. Um, Birch is a little, spruce is a little dark. Cherry is too pink. Acacia, maybe? Mangrove might be a little darker than I want. I do need... Is that dark oak? Okay, hang on. Let's be sure I've got my silk touch... Silk touch O here. Okay. 
I mean, they're obviously very close to each other because they're both oak. I mean, one's oak and one's dark oak, but... Ah. But the oak is sort of... Sort of bright and cheerful. Um, what time is it? Okay. Oh, it's early. Cool. Let's head up to the surface and hit the tree farm and just take a look at what's up there and see if any of, the, of those leaves or see which of those leaves will uh, suit our purpose. Oh, darn it. I need some bone meal. I need, I want to grow some of this azalea because I think some flowering azalea leaves are going to be helpful here. Okay. Just drop back down. Sorry. Sorry for the up and down. Let's meander back over here. Haha, -ha, made it. Cool. And let's grab some bone meal. Eh. We'll grab a little bit. A little bit more than a stack will do it. Okay, so we'll go up to the surface because, yeah, some azalea trees... Having some of the flowering azalea leaves is definitely going to be a win. Right, so... Oh, did I leave the... Yes, I did. I left the minecart over here. It's fine. All right, let's go farm some trees. This is a long way up, you know. It's I'm down at minus 53, right, because of the ancient city. And that comes all the way up to 119. That's a big freaking elevator. All right. So, step one, let's clear out some space for some azalea. All right. All right, so much of this uh, spruce forest is being replaced by other things. I am okay with that. Why am I okay with that? Because I'm the one doing it. Turns out that's the, uh, how so much of that stuff works. All right. Okay, so, hang on. Let's get these out of the way. I don't want the, I don't need the stuff. This, this spruce tree has delusions of cherry hood. Okay. You know, I, who am I to argue with the tree, right? It can be what it wants to be when it grows up. Is there a log in there still somewhere? Nope, it's just slow. All right, cool. I got a little bit used to the fast leaf decay that's over on Tinker World. Okay. All right, let's be sure we've got our silk touch. There we go. Oops. Because, yeah, I definitely want to get some of these flowering azaleas. Actually, heck, some of just the regular azalea leaves might be good for the tree. Um, but, yeah, some flowering azalea I think is going to really... Certainly as an accent, really make these these trees pop. Right. Now there are a few places where I think I really should just go with, uh, or I may just go with generic trees because there are a few places along the path, like in the, those greenways, where I want to add some trees, and I think probably just some straight birch or oak trees will work fine. Um, 
I want to say a trees might be good too, but yeah, just a, a few trees along there just to uh, say, look, there are trees, but I don't necessarily want to, I actually, I know, I don't want to go custom trees all the way around the city. I'm not, I don't enjoy custom trees that much. I, mean, I hardly like doing them at all, really, but. All right. Okay, so we've got actually some of this azalea combined with the birch. I think that's going to work. Hey, how's it going? How old is this world? Probably so 12, so about three months. Give or take. How's it going? I pronounce your name, but I can't. <laughs> so. Alright, so I think that'll work. That'll provide enough leafy goodness. Um oh up. Where's my elevator? It's over this way. This is what I get. I never come to the surface. I forget where it is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this bone meal here, because that'll probably be useful. Same with those azaleas. I have a lot of azalea saplings. All right. Now let's head back and figure out where the heck I want to put this. Actually, I know where I want to put this tree. See, like how I want this tree to look. And I think next to the oak trees, let's just. Yeah, I think I'll. What I'll do is I'll mix and match the oak, the azalea. I don't think I'm going to use the spruce. Um, or the dark oak, and I will use some flowering azalea and not the cherry. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's again, silk touch. Cool. All right, let's, let's just stash the fortune hoe for now. And let's, oh, I'm going to need, I should have cut down some birch trees and stuff while I was at it, but. It's okay. I did cut down some azale a bunch of azalea trees, so we're uh, we definitely have some stuff that I can make sticks out of. So I'm gonna need some birch uh, fences, probably a few birch gates as well, and we'll see what else as I get this tree going, but. All right, so let's see. So do I still have scaffolding on me? That's always the question, isn't it? All right. Cool, so the, the next step is to fall off the scaffolding. That's, that's always fun. Not the silk one. Deep slate is painful enough. Let's be sure at least we're getting cobbled deep slate out of this. Now, I do kind of like where some of this is sitting. So, because the height was, was pretty good, right? So I like kind of having this as being the bottom of the tree, like where this this row of deep slate tiles is. So what I'm going to do is let's grab a few more birch. And I want to come out this way. Okay, so we're going to just bring a branch or two out in a few places, you know, just to... It's not there. Oh, also, I should probably take out some of this as wood because, like here, I think I want to, oops, that's not the right wood. 
Right, I want to bring some of the wood out this way. Okay. And let's see. How else do I want to do this? Let's bring one off kind of at this angle here. So I'm going to come out this way. And oops, yes, but maybe kind of sort of. Um, do I want to bring it? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring it more towards the wall. And I think what I should do here is let's come down this way and bring bring some of this kind of out this way, right? Yeah. Um, actually, let's <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and take that out like that. Okay. All right, and now let's go ahead and take out this deep slate. Oh yeah, that was clever. Let's get myself locked in. All right, that's good. And I don't have much coming off this way because I'm gonna run into this building and it's all gonna have to come out anyway. Nice, and I should also probably finish bringing this building across this way. That would be clever. All right. All right, so now I think, I think, almost, let's, let's lower, hang on, let's grab some wood. Let's lower this branch down up here. Ack, jeez, monkeys. All right, now let's let's take this out. Okay, nope, that's gonna go that way. Hey, how's it going there, Strike? Welcome in. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Yeah, this is gonna come out this way, and let's go kind of like this, I think. Yeah, we'll sort of bring. Oops. Is that? that going to be the right shape? It is. I think I do want it to be just a little bit lower, though. Ah, so how's it going? I hope your, your day is going well. Oh, you're welcome. All right, so this is going to come up this way, and yeah, we're going to go... I do want to bring this out here just a touch. Let's try this with the wood and not the logs, though. Okay. There we go. This We'll bring this this way. Okay. I think that'll work. All right, so we'll go that way. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think I want to take this branch that's over here by my scaffolding and let's bring it out. Going to bring it out kind of this way a little bit. Oh, thank you. It's uh, definitely been a bit of a challenge here building this thing out here in the ancient city, but it's been fun. Um, hang on, which... Which way do I need this to go? Um, actually, you know, this might be fun. Let's go ahead and bring this one down a little bit. I know the, the trees will often grow up, obviously. Yeah, we'll go like this. Okay, but this, this branch is drooping just a little bit. Okay. All right, nice. That'll work. So now... Now we can start adding the uh, all of the leafy goodness to it. At least that's the theory. <sighs> Takes copper so long to oxidize. <laughs> all right, nice, 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 nice. I think this branch might be a little long, but we'll deal with that. 
So this is going to be the basis of the tree, right? We've got some branches, we've got a trunk. Now we'll start adding leaves. And we're gonna, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna go with green leaves, probably oak and azalea and flowering azalea mix. So it doesn't um, blend in too much with this tree behind it, okay? I need something that's going to sort of I, well, add some contrast and, and look a little different. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, I'm, I also need to add some light to this. And probably what I'll do is I'll bring in some green glass or lime green glass with some lanterns hanging from it. Just like I've got pink hanging from over there. So... Yeah, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the, the oak leaves, I think, and try to put them a little deeper in the tree. So they're going to come back kind of out this way. While I take the azalea leaves and run them out a little bit more on the outside. See, what this will do is... Basically, the leaves that are sort of in shadow, if you want to think of it that way, are going to be darker, while those that are more on the outside will be a bit lighter. Okay? At least that's the plan. Now, let's get some fence posts. Right. Okay. Because I... I was one thing when I was building the uh, the cherry tree there. You know, I, was, I could take the pink glass and I could have fence posts attached to it and stuff. I don't really have that option quite as much, but so we'll we'll have to work with some of, some of those things. But all right, uh, gates. Okay. And definitely gonna need some more scaffolding. <laughs> All right, no, we're we're fine. Where did the scaffolding go? So yeah, so hopefully this is all going to work out okay. I've got some. Yeah, we'll just throw some fence gates in there. Uh, oh yeah, let's bring some flowering azalea out this way, but I do need to bring some more. Oops, that's... Well, that's fine. It can go there. We'll... we'll happy accidents. We're, we're Bob Rossing the snot out of this thing, right? So... We're also going to fall off the scaffolding a lot. Alright. I definitely want to bring some branches around. I need a little bit... Do I need a little bit? Maybe I want a little bit of azalea there. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and meander up this way. So basically, what I'm going to do... Now, this is my process for custom trees. Whether it's the, a good one or not is debatable. Because I'm questionable at best in organics. But what I like to do is start on the outside. right? If you look at trees... Uh, any tree... The... Leaves start at the branches, right? Your tr your leaves aren't on your trunk of the tree. They're on your branches. So when you start building out the tree, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? You start building all of your bushy goodness out on the, the ends. And then you start kind of filling in where you realize, you know what? I kind of need a little bit more stuff going on here. Right. I, like when I built this tree, I started out here on the branches and I realized, oh, there's a big gap here. So let's fill that in. Oh, there's a gap here. Let's fill that in. Right. So that's my approach. I'm not saying it's the right approach or even the best approach, uh, but it tends to work for me on those rare occasions I actually decide to build a uh, custom tree. 
yeah, let's go ahead and put Azalea down there. It's oak. Yeah, because, the, again, the oak is going to be... The oak is that, that some of those, those darker interior leaves, right? Yeah. And we'll try to get some flowering azaleas around here. Okay, now obviously that's looking fairly non-bushy and I need to bring some down this way, okay? Uh, I had scaffolding. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and bring some more. Yeah, we'll bring a few more leaves this way. I think now I'm not sh entirely sure how a, a tree would actually grow in a cave like this, but we'll just... The residents of this city are cultivating the trees in some way. They're, they have skills. They have a peculiar set of skills. They kind of know what they're doing. Okay. Oops, I keep Sorry, I keep free camming through the walls of my buildings and stuff. Okay, that's not too bad. I do need some more up top, but... Okay. Again, we'll we'll sort of start around the outsides, and then we'll sort of right because this definitely needs a few a few more leaves here. Let's go ahead and put some azalea in that way. Okay, and so we've got big bushy trees, right? We've got long branches and stuff, so we're gonna definitely want a few more things here. And I think actually what I want is some. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of fence just to give it some shape and some some other goodness right and let's see oh a fence gate let's grab a gate and easier to, yep open it that way come on I could fight well cheese it Okay. Yeah, this is this will work. And then as you said, just throw in some some of the flowering leaves for um, for a little extra color, a little extra contrast. Because you look at an azalea tree, at least a, a Minecraft azalea tree, azalea tree. Sorry, I can't words today. We're we're surviving somehow. But yeah, you look at a an azalea tree and. You get just these highlights of purple where the flowers are. And it looks really cool. Okay, yeah, see that's looking good. We'll need to bring some more leaves across this branch, obviously. Um, oops, we're gonna fall down too. That's cool. Um, yeah. Right, so we'll just Yeah. So you will bring the Bring some more leaves across here, and this will start looking pretty... No. I'm going to leave that gate closed. Gravity works. Just check it. You have to be sure. Just check it periodically and make sure, hey, is gravity still functioning today? Yes. Yes, it is. We're okay. And that's... It's, it's good, you know? All right, so we're going to just bring this across like this. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Angle down. Thank you. For those of you who are wondering, that, yes, that is a mod. It's uh, part of Tweakaroo that does the accurate block placement. Slightly cheaty. Not so much for a tree like this, but for a few other places, yeah. Do I mind? Nope. Not even a little bit. Okay. Again, we're going to bring... Use the oak leaves as the core for this. Yeah. We'll open up that way. And then bring the azalea in. Just sort of in and around a little bit more this way. Yeah. 
stick out on that side. And let's throw in some of the flowering azalea. Yeah, I think this will work. Will it work? Probably will work. Yeah, and so bring in some of the oak as well. Okay, now, there's some stuff I'm gonna have to do on the underside of this because I can't reach it well from here. So that that's just a, one of those things to keep track of. It's like, yep, I need to do a couple of these things. Okay. And obviously that needs to stay. It's been trimmed away from the building, right? We'll, we'll go with that. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I do need some more bushiness down here. It's not quite, not quite fluffy enough for what I want. But it's a good start. All right, so now get over here. And I want to take some. Yeah, we're going to take some fence. I'm actually going to bring it out this way a little bit. And I don't want to run into the street too much, I think. That would be. That might be a little bit awkward. So kind of go this way. Yeah, trees are are a little little bit of a pain. They're not I would say they're not too bad. I'm not I don't have an eye for it. I mean you get somebody like uh Gemini Tay who is or yeah, no, nah, Gem is pretty amazing when it comes to um custom trees and things or Corallus does some amazing work with uh, custom trees and, and bushes and things. I don't know if he's custom bushes. But it's not my... Definitely not something I spend a lot of time on. So all of this is kind of, kind of awkward. Stretching muscles I don't use very often, you know what I mean? Okay, I need to get up under there a little bit. So yeah, so there are some people that just just whip these suckers out like nothing. I'm and I do okay, but so it's not not something I I do much. So let's see, um, let's go ahead and put a fence post in there. Yeah. And we'll push the flowering out to the side that way. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to bring some more of the uh, azalea leaves coming down. Yeah, take care. And again, sir, I can't pronounce your name with the uh, looks like Russian or, or perhaps Greek character set is uh, beyond my ability to read, but Welcome anyway, and have a great rest of your day. Okay, pop up a little bit more over here. Not a lot, I think. We're gonna kind of bring it across this way. Ah, excuse me. Again, it's spring and allergy season in Colorado, and it sucks. Crystal was talking about early in, in stream. It's like, oh, yeah, it's, it's the weather needs to decide if it's spring or if it's summer, right? Or if it's still winter. Yeah, here it's definitely spring. And, uh,. The plants have decided to inject their love lives into my nose, and I'm getting really tired of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to bring a little... A little... Branchiness, I think, to this tree over here. 
Now, the other thing I can and probably should get in with is a little bit of some more oak. Uh, get in with some, I don't know, something. I had a word for it. I don't know what it is anymore. Words are hard. Um, oh, it's like some stairs and things, right? Just to help shape some of these branches and things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to come up this way. And it's, yeah, we'll, we'll just bring the bushiness out this way. Now, again, you don't see a lot of these on the trunk, but this is the top of the tree. So we're going to kind of go with that. I think we'll bring this up like that. So there we go. Yeah. Yeah, and again, we'll keep the... There we go. <laughs> it's like, I could click on this little bitty spot. It's a thing. Sorry, I saw that cow walking around down there. I was, and for a minute, I, it caught me. It's like, why is there a zombie down there? Zombies can't spawn in, down here. This is an ancient city. Nothing spawns down here. Oh. Okay, I may have to go get some more oak leaves. It's one of the reasons that you might want to build in an ancient city. It takes a little work to clean clean it out. But once you've gotten rid of all the shriekers, ancient cities are actually very, very safe. You just have to be a little bit cautious about where your deep dark biome changes to... Uh, something else right like i've got areas this is all deep dark right but if i free cam over here this all turns into taiga biome and so mobs will spawn up there you know that type of thing so you do want to be a little bit careful of that type of of stuff as things sort of shift around and you still can end up with a drop creeper or two. You got to watch out for those types of things. But, but yeah, I highly recommend, you know, if you're looking for a nice safe place to build, ancient cities will definitely do it. You just have to turn off the security system. Okay. Yeah, I th think we're going to have to go with some more leaves of multiple types here. Oak and... Azalea. Let's put a branch in there. All right, so how's our tree looking here? Aside from this big gap right here, we're doing okay. Okay, let's bring this out this way a little bit. Okay, down. Yeah, I need to fill in this area right here. All right. So we'll just bring some, some happy little leaves right through this side. Yeah, fill that in a little bit. Let's bring some down here. Yeah, we're definitely getting to be a little bit tree-ish, which is awesome. bring some of this this way all right okay there are a couple of bald spots which i may not worry about too much yet i definitely need to fill in here i need to fill in and around the back side here a little bit but i think to do that i'm going to need more leaves than i have cool what time is it, it is late at night Cool. Let's sleep and then we'll get some more uh, some more leaves. But yeah, this is definitely starting to look. It's definitely starting to look tree-ish. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, 
yeah, the, we've added a bunch of leaves and this has been great. Um, this branch actually might be a little bit long, but I think we're sort of okay. And is it starting to fill in? You know, yes, bald spots are, are something we'll work on and we'll need to deal with how it's coming close to this building. But all in all, it is definitely looking like a tree, which is what I wanted. Um, I might, I might actually bring it up a little bit taller now that I'm looking at it from down here, it just kind of looks like I might need to bring the trunk up just a little bit more. But otherwise, this is starting to look pretty good. Um, but I need more leaves. So I'm going to go harvest some more leaves and then we'll see about dealing with the rest of this. <laughs> there are trees like that in real life. But... Uh, as a wise person once asked, is this the real life or is it just fantasy? All right. I've been hearing a lot of Queen lately. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did sleep. Okay. Just not with the strip birch. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've been watching uh, the Highlander TV series, and they play a lot of Queen in that one. All right, so I need oak trees. That would be this mess right here, right? Cool. Silky, silky. All right, I don't really need the logs, but I'm not going to just leave them there, so... Time to chop some trees. All right. Yeah, heck, the original Highlander movie was almost just basically a Queen music video. Obviously, the bands didn't show up in it, but the... Uh, but I think all of the music was basically Queen and... What else? The, um, I think the director actually w came from the music video scene, so. They're classically trained. Yeah. They're remake of Flash Gordon. You know, I don't know that I ever saw that. I was never, I was never really a fan of Queen when I was growing up. There are a few songs that, that hit and were sort of popular, but... Um, there was never really my jam. It was it was a little heavier than I liked, often. But they do do some stuff musically in some of their tracks that are that's just amazing. It's that uh, classical training you were mentioning a minute ago. All right, I do need to get some more azaleas. Where did I put it? Okay, I, was gonna say, I know I did more azalea here. What the heck? Don't need the moss carpet. All right. You have to blame your sister? Yeah. That's fair. Is that? Oh, that's a dog. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem, Strike. I may not be the best person to learn it from, but... Uh, I'm happy to share what, what knowledge I have. Also, let's, let's just get rid of this deep slate. All right. Um, right. Planting of the stuff. Okay. You can finally pass geography. Yeah. yeah. Boy, there was a class I never enjoyed. I was... I was a math major in school, you know. I loved history. I loved math. I loved all the seaside courses I took, but geography was never one of those. It was high on my list of courses to take again. I mean, some of it was fun for from the, again, I like history. So the historical perspective, of why is this country like this? And 
Yeah, so some of that was interesting, but... All right. We are definitely running out of leaves here. Probably should have... I don't have a Lays in this world. Okay. Note to self, get a Lays. Alays make this, uh, make some of the tree harvesting stuff so much easier. Just tell, tell the LA, hey, I want some of these leaves. Go throw them in this, uh, in this hopper over here. And then you just, even if your inventory's full, the LA's pick up all the stuff you've dropped and they go take it back. And it's really convenient. It's especially nice on mangrove trees. But, okay. Because mangrove's tree, mangrove just has so much random garbage. Yeah, between the leaves and the propagules and the wood and the roots. Like, you know what? Here, you guys deal with the leaves and stuff that I don't need. Well, I get the four blocks of wood that are actually here on this tree. Did reasonably well in geography. Okay, yeah. But made uh, less than as much fun as listening to... Okay, yeah. I get that. Most... History is, is as much about the teacher as anything else as far as whether the class is interesting or not. I definitely had some fun fun classes with some of my teachers, but... Okay. Some azalea. Let's go and grab that oak. Don't worry about the dark oak. Jungle is a, would have been a nice leaf to, uh, to use in this too, but... I had one teacher, a professor in college... She she was a had she was a nun, which was interesting. And I wasn't going to a religious school, so it was a little bit surprising for her to show up there. But she taught history in probably the most interesting way I've ever seen it. What she would do is she would take uh, she'd pull people out aside in the class. That, okay, you are the Queen of England, you are the, the King of Spain, and you are the King of France. Now, here's the situation. And then they would basically role play their way through whatever was going on, right? Uh, flowering, see, there we go. And so they would role play their way through it. And what was fascinating is like, okay, here's, here's what's going on. Here's your motivation. How do you work with this situation? And it was funny is more often than not, the way the the students in the class role played their way through whatever event we were talking about ended up being very close to what actually happened. So you really started to understand why history did things, right? You know, why did these nations make these choices? Why did they yeah, I definitely need to bring those together a little bit. You know, what um, what prompted some of these decisions? And as they were role-playing through some of that, you got to see, it's like, oh, yeah. Turns out humans make interesting choices and tend to be somewhat consistent about it when it comes down to it. A fantastic physics teacher. Okay. Nice. Okay. I, I might argue about against deliberately getting detention, but I can understand wanting to uh, learn more. Especially from a, a teacher that's that's cool. You know, that, that makes learning interesting. That's one thing. I've I've long believed Learning should be, I don't, I'm not going to say learning should be fun, but 
hey, we, we learn for reasons, right? Sometimes it's because we have to for work or for school, but, you know, I when you find something that you can really latch on to, right, that gets to be, you know, you start digging into some of this stuff. I ended up that way with, uh, said military history to begin with, but, and eventually when I started to understand the math, some of my math courses became really, really fascinating. Okay, I need to fill in this side a little bit. Bring some of this oak. Again, I'm using the oak as the sort of the the darker color, right? So they're deeper in the tree, and it just adds a little bit of that um, that shading that you might not get necessarily. And yeah, some of them are peeking out, but you may not get it necessarily just with Minecraft's lighting. All right, how are we doing here? It's not too bad. Let's let's poof this side up just a little bit. One thing you can do, like when you're seeing an area here, it's like, oh, I need to make this poofier. You take your darker texture block, right, and then you just kind of surround it with your other leaves. Okay. I'm going to th think that maybe this side... They've had to trim the tree back because it's coming against the building or the tree isn't quite growing this way quite as much. So we're going to maybe not quite do quite as many. And let's see, do I want to make this taller? Yes, I do. Yep. Yeah, it, it adds depth. Yes, exactly. So let's go ahead and take this out. And we're going to bring this up this way a little bit. I can do it. I can hop on things. Okay. And yeah, let's go ahead and just bring this. I'm going to bring this tree up just a little bit more here. Yeah, I think that's going to add... Add a little bit of extra height. I'm going to have to adjust some of the leafiness here, but I think that's going to be okay. Maybe what I'll do is come in with some stairs and stuff and let that kind of fill in some of these gaps because it is kind of feeling like a feeling a little chonky, you know? I don't mind a, a chonky tree, but just a, just a little bit, a uh, little bit thick. Okay. Yeah, so we'll bring this out. Actually, having it kind of in multiple layers here isn't necessarily a bad thing either. At least I'm going to keep telling myself that while I work on this and try to make this thing. Oh, thank you, Strike. It's, uh, I'm trying. Is it, uh, is it amazing? Well, it's, it's better than it was. Let's just say that. Okay, I've got a, some gap here I need to fill in a little bit. I'm going to trim back things a little bit up top on this side. Okay, and I do want to get in there with some... I do kind of like that branch just kind of hanging out there, but I do need to get under here with a little bit of tree-ishness. Okay. Let's see now. Let's meander over here. Yeah, I think you're right. Some slabs, some fences, probably some stairs. The trunk needs a little bit of shape to it. Okay. Let's let's get on top of the tree here and let's cuz yeah, we'll need to shape that. But that can wait a minute. Let's Okay, we're just going to crash into things. It's all good. 
right. Now, over here. So we've got trees running into each other. So, okay. So let's come in here. I'm going to bring in. Let's bring in a branch and let's. Let's go ahead and darken this up just a little bit. Okay. And then we can bring some azalea out this way. I think that's going to help there. And yeah, I, I definitely need to come in here with some, especially around where these thick branches are coming off the trunk. We'll add a few more fences, but we'll add some slabs and some stairs and things to really, like, obviously that looks stupid, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, it's where I want the branch to go. But some of that, you work with Minecraft. I, I say it often enough. Minecraft is an impressionist painting, not a photograph. So what we're looking at is, you know, impressions of things. I'm going to put some of this, some of these oak leaves back. I don't think I'm going to need quite as many of those right now. And combine things a little bit. Okay. Twill serve, as they say. Yes, I did grab slabs. Okay. For a minute there, I was going to be a little annoyed with myself. So I think what I want to do is let's add a little bit of... We're going to add a little bit of thickness to that branch. Just a little bit. Yeah, see, that's already making that better. And... Let's see. Let's come in under here scaffolding thank you and i think what i want to do is let's bring this this way maybe yeah that might that might work yeah ah, there's there's so much tree here who we'll put all this tree here okay <laughs> you know it's like i kind of feel like maybe uh Maybe there's a too much tree. I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and pop up this way. Now. Okay. That guy's pretty well branched in. Let's go ahead and slab that up a little bit. Um, what am I doing on the rest of this? I need a little bit of, little bit of leaf action over here. Though I think I may. Maybe I'll trim that. Maybe I won't. Uh, let's get inside up here on the trunk this way. I've now made it really hard to get around, which... This is not quite the climbing tree I had in my youth. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had a, a tree out, outside the house that was uh, very much a climbing tree. I don't know what type of tree it actually was. I don't remember if it ever, I don't think it ever put out fruit, but it was perfect for my sister and I to uh, get in and climb around in and all that stuff. It was, it was fun. Yeah, the, that one I don't think was, that it, it never bore fruit. We have a great apple tree out in front of our house that, our our kids would climb all the time. That was good. How would it look if you cut a small strip of the trunk like how the dark oak trees have? Okay, I think I know what you're saying. Um, yeah. I think... For this type of tree, I you know what? I do need to bring a little something over. Just hang on, we're now looking at deep slate. I think I need to bring a little something here. I widen this out, but I decided to put it in a planter, so that's not going to be as useful. Um, 
But yeah, we used to we used to spend a lot of time in that tree. Okay, let's go ahead and let's bring out a little bit of branchy goodness here with some Alright, let's go ahead and grab some of our birch and our oak. Because I don't have birch leaves. Alright. Yeah, and yeah, we'll just bring a little bit of this down this way. Okay, how we do it? Oh, I need to get up. Alright. Ups a daisy. Yeah, we'll just run a little bit of a little bit of this up this way. Yeah. Alright. Now the tree is definitely a little little wild. But it's not bad. Now I think what I want to do though. Oh yeah, let's I need to clean up the top here a little bit. Do I have ender pearls? I do. I should use those more. Alright. Let's trim off this. Just I didn't like how it was sticking out. Oh, I do want some flowering azalea up here. I don't really have much. Just to continue the blossoms and stuff, right? All right, so how are we doing? Okay, this, we're a little, little bit gappy. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's a tree. The reasons I like to use an artificial tree at Christmas is because they're artificial and it's easier to fill in the gaps and just make it look picture perfect. A natural tree doesn't do that. Okay, I think I'm a little clumpy out there. I think I might... I've talked about it before, but I think this one branch might be a little bit long. Let's go ahead and trim it back just a little bit. You know, if I wanted to do tree maintenance, I have a tree right outside my house I could do stuff with. All right. Yeah, I think this will work. We'll just bring this out this way. Let's take that. Christmas where you kill a tree and decorate its corpse. Yeah, kind of. Except I use an artificial tree. So we use a fake corpse, you know. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. I think this side's a little bit clumpy, so we'll deal with that. But all in all, this is okay. All right. So let's get our happy ender pearls. Cool. Yeah, so where was I looking at? Okay, kind of right there needs to take that off. Um, you wanna do, yeah, it's gonna take that leaf off. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit better. It was just a touch on the clumpy side, and then over here, we're a little bit flat. So let's go ahead and bring in... Yeah. Bring in some azalea this way. Okay. So that's not looking too bad. Obviously, it's trimmed back because of the building, which, again, I should probably maybe finish. Um... It's a typical Minecraft building. It's never finished. Never. No Minecraft building is ever finished. You may think it's finished. It's only finished because you stopped working on it. All right. Who was I hearing the other day? Bill Burr, I think, who was... What did he do? Audio, I think, for Star Wars? It says, you know, movies never, are never released. They escape. Top of the tree reminds you of a Christmas tree? Yeah. So kind of what I'm going for is a little bit of a bushy, sort of a 
sort of a bushy sort of oak or aspen kind of style. Okay, I think underneath we're a little bit... Uh, we need a little bit of help underneath, I think. Yeah, th Microsoft 3D mosaic tile work. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw the movie um, Batteries Not Included. That was a f that was a fun little movie. Let's go ahead and bring some of these leaves down this way. It's about uh, it's like an acacia tree. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Batteries Not Included is about it's um it's an apartment building that's typical evil developer type movie, right? And yeah, you get these little little uh, aliens that kind of show up, but they are tiny little robot spaceship looking things. That's a that's a cute little flick. All right. I think I've got a little more a few more branches around the trunk than I was really or a few more leaves around the trunk than I was really looking for, but... Ack. I keep backing off my scaffolding, you know? Alright, I think let's go ahead and bring some of this. That's not the right one. Do this with oak. But, yeah. there's The reason I bring it up is you mentioned the mosaic, and there's a great scene with the with the little alien critters helping to build a mosaic tile floor. But yeah, an older movie, but but kind of fun. Definitely recommend it. Nice little, especially if you're looking for a nice little sweet... Uh, that, that is an excellent word for it, Thomas. It's a nice little... Cute little... Family comedy. Alright. I have a hard time with a lot of the... Comedies these days, because they get a little raunchy. And I don't mind a little... A little, uh... Of that humor on occasion. It can get a little much... Okay, we're just going to bring some branches in a little bit. All right, now, here's where things are going to get fun. Let's go ahead and clean out the scaffolding for a minute. All right. We're going to move where a guy caught, taught Kung Fu. Being and acting like he had too much at the pub. Yeah. Is it the Legend of Drunken Master or something like that? Sounds like a Jackie Chan movie. I don't think it's one that I saw, but I remember hearing something about it. Okay. Now, here's the thing. So I turn off the gamma override. With the gamma override off, you can barely see the tree. Okay. Turn it back on and, ooh, look, pretty tree. Ooh, ah. Turn it off, and the tree just sort of disappears. So, I think what I want to do is, like I've done with the cherry tree, I want to start adding some fairy lights and stuff into this. And I'm probably going to take the same approach. We'll take some, some uh, colored glass and some lanterns, and we'll just hang them around and under the tree and see if we can light things up that way a bit. Drunken Master? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, definitely a I think that's gonna be I think we're gonna go with some lime green on that one. Alright, so what to put away? Th these oak logs, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna grab some glass. 
right, and start juggling inventory space here. All right, I think I'm done with the logs. I don't think I'm going to need those for now. And let's get some. That should be good. Let's grab some lights. Lights, lights, lights. All right. Cool. So, yeah. So, let's get under here. And said, same type of thing. We're just sort of play some of those place some of the, the glass and uh, lanterns and stuff around a little bit. Right, so we'll come under here. I don't know that I have a real pattern of like, hey, this is, we're just going to go kind of, this is, this looks good. This looks like a good place for something. Like, there, that's a good place. Sure. And let's come up here. All right, we'll bring a little bit of glass down this way. All right. You know, yeah, this is this is definitely going to make this work. I think I want to bring some down on the inside here just a little bit. Light up the trunk somewhat. I'm a little bit worried about those being all similar heights so let's hop up here and i want to bring some out from from up there right yeah that's that's not bad okay and let's cool let's try it this way this way seems like fun yeah I could, like, double length the glass in a few places and stuff, but I think we're okay. Let's come under here just a little bit. Now, there are a few places where it's like, you know what be really cool? Maybe some could sneak a candle or, or something in here for a little light that way. But I don't have a bee farm, so candles are a little bit of a challenge. Actually, I take that back. I have some candles because I've raided the city. And there are a lot of candles in ancient cities. Okay, is that enough? How's that looking? It's not too bad. I kind of feel like I need to add a couple more over here. But let's turn off the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we want to add any more? Yeah, let's sneak a few up top. Yeah, let's sneak a few into the top of the tree just to light this up. Now, I, the other thing I could do is I could come in with a little bit of glow lichen, which would also help. Okay, so we're going to just bring a little bit of... Come on, I can reach it. I can reach it. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, glow lichen is lovely for, for some of this stuff, right? I, I can add a, just a little bit of light to places. Ooh, this might be good. Just tuck that in there on that branch. Okay. And let's see. Do you want to add a little bit here? So let's go ahead and just, we're going to, uh, oh, oh, that's true. Glowberries do work nicely for that. I have a glowberry farm. I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah, also I should grab some shears to, uh, Grab some shears so I can snip the glowberries, but you're right. Some glowberries here would look would look pretty good. Alright. I don't know if I need more than that, but we'll start there. Let me go. Let's see. Do I have? I think I do. 
Not the fortune pickaxe. Okay. Now that is an awesome suggestion strike. We're gonna we're gonna do that. There are a few places in here too where I think some glow berries just sort of tucked inside are going to to work out great. No, that was an awesome idea. I don't tend to build with glow berries or even have them around very often, so I don't think about them. But no, that is that is an excellent idea. In fact, let's go ahead and take this out. Okay. We're going to... Okay. Guess who can't plant glowberries on uh, branches? That would be me. Okay. Um... Oh, they have to be on the underside, don't they? That's right. That's right. Oh, that makes sense. No, I can't. Uh, no, they won't place. Darn. Okay. They must need something solid to attach to. It was an excellent idea, though. It's an excellent idea. Unfortunately, yeah, it's like, hi, I would like to hang you from something. Wool or concrete? Yeah, gla glass might work too, actually. Oh, I think my cat is having issues. Poor guy. Yeah, I could. I can attach them to the bottom of the branches. Um, I could slip some lime glass since I conveniently enough have lime glass on me right all right I could potentially let's see if I can get around this tree at all, all right see I could if I slip some lime glass like right there okay and let's bone meal it so they glow go yeah moss I think would be a little bit too dark as it gets as it gets pushed into the tree but okay so let's do this let's take out that branch we'll put in okay that'll come out but we'll replace it here in a minute let's uh add some glow berries and let's do that, and now we'll snip them so they don't grow. Oops, that's not how that's supposed to work. I know there's a... Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was a way to do it. <laughs> it's like, I know there's a way I can do that. All right. Cool, so that can go there, and now let's go ahead and take some of the azalea. Yeah, a few glowberries scattered around in there, too. You're right, probably a good idea. And if I, because I can take the glass, yeah. Okay. Just get the glowberries, snip so they don't grow. All right. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think there, I might be able to dig into the tree here a little bit in a couple of places. Yeah, let's, if I were to come in here. Yeah, see, like, I've got some of the space here. I could take, like, this out. And maybe... Okay. Snip that, and then maybe there was another place in here I was thinking might be good. So that's not too bad. Um, all right, let's just back off at this for a minute. Turn off the... Okay. Yeah, so we'll come around the back here. We'll just leave the... 
leave the lights off for a minute. Come on, down we go. All right, cool. I think let's take that one out. Drop that there and some glowberries here. Snip it, make them glow. Okay. Okay, and I'm now trapped in the tree. That's fine. All right. All right, is that bright enough? I think it's bright enough. I think we're doing okay. So there could be a couple of places where where it could use a little bit more light, but I think we're, I think this isn't too bad. Let's go and get all the scaffolding out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I think this will work. This is doing a little bit better. So we've got the lanterns in there. I also snuck in with some glow berries. Good suggestion coming from chat. Which, if you're not watching the streams live, when I record a lot of this stuff for the videos, you should do that and stuff because it's cool. But yeah, it's definitely lighting this up a little bit and bringing this whole area, bringing it to life, really. Because again, light is life. The next thing I think I should do is get some cherry blossoms and just sprinkle them down here on the moss. Because you can see, right, that you've got the particle effects from the cherry leaves. And it's blowing the the leaves down here towards the this area of floor. So a few blossoms down there to show that, yep, see, they've landed. I think it's going to look pretty good. Okay. Ugh. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Allergies suck. And also, I think, I'm, I think I've got a cat hair in my nose. Cherry. There we go. Yeah, so we'll grab some pink petals, and let's see, what do we have? All right, the azalea leaves can go in, the oak leaves, conveniently, those all go in the same box. Okay, um, they can fit in both categories. I'm going to put them in the light box, because that's how I'm going to think of them. All right. Cool, so let's go ahead and take some of these petals. So I've got some of these petals, and we're just going to lay some down. I don't know how much I want to, uh, I think maybe around the base, because there's, it would make sense, You, the leaves would sort of pile up a little bit around the base of that uh, planter there. So we'll just uh, get a few of these, these happy little, what are these officially, pink petals, just laying around here. I think this is going to make this whole area look... I, I think it'll make it look a little nicer. I mean, I could take some of the leaves even and, and do this, but... No. And I do like the idea of them kind of having... Sort of piled up a little bit back here behind the... Behind this planter. I think that's going to make some sense. Cool. And we'll just sprinkle them a little bit further away, right? They wouldn't necessarily be on this side quite as much because this tree is in the way of all the petals falling. But I think this is going to be okay. And as I add some more light over here, this is going to look pretty nice. Okay, did I even... I think I did put a few down here too, so yeah. Throw a couple there against the wall. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, this one might be a couple of these that are a little far, and they should get uh, less dense as you get further away. Okay, yeah, no, definitely a good, good call there. All right. I don't want to get too crazy with this, so I think we'll leave that, but 
See, and this is great because I, I've got the gamma override off and it's looking really good, right? For so much of this series, I've had to play with gamma override on because it's just so dark in this cave. But at least in this area, this area, I can turn it off. And, okay, yeah, my house is a wreck, but the rest of this is really starting to uh, to come around, right? But yeah, I don't think I want to get. Yeah, because the the idea there, like using the uh, pink leaves as a, a pile of stuff, is is interesting, but I think it would be a little too much. But I do like this, and having the flowers be a little bit thicker, you know, where the, you can kind of see where the petals are landing, kind of. And so having the, uh, a few extra petals there is going to work out okay. All right. Nice. So, we're still oxidizing, which is slow and painful. Um... But I am going to have to get this copper out of the way. I need to figure out what I want to do with the center of this. Right. And it's sort of important because it's like, you know, let me turn the override back on. Because there are a few places around the city, right, where we've got these, right, these split highways. And as they come out and do, well, that's the end of that. But as they come out here. Right, what do I do with it? Um, you know, I said they're all over the city. So knowing what I'm going to do with the road where I've got this sort of split. Do I have a pond? I've got. I've got these little pondy dealy bobs. Um, I think I am going to. I was thinking about this earlier today. Right, this area here in the center below the portal. Right, I'm going to make this my storage room. Storage hallway is the way it's going to end up working out. But I was thinking I might surround this whole area to some extent or another with water and kind of build a moat around the the uh, city, or the city, what will be my storage room. Right? Partly because I think it's going to look cool. Right? Continue this across here so it connects in. So, yeah, so I've got a few things like that. I don't have a natural-looking pond, really. Where's my exit? Here? There it is. Um, the closest thing I've got are the lava pools. <laughs> but, and you can still hear some of the ones under the city. You know, like that one. And my happy black cat in a boat. Okay. And then there are a few places like this where it's like, okay, I had to contain a waterfall. But no, I haven't I haven't come in and, and built ponds or anything like that. Okay. Actually I'm curious, since I'm over here, let's see how the slime farm's doing. Probably not well. Oh, it's, it's slow. About what I expect. Cool. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, creeper farm back on. It's. I just needed to build up a little bit of slime there. Alright. And I, I really need to redesign that creeper farm too. It's. It has issues. Mostly it's just slow. And it spawns spiders, which I like having the string, but I have a spider farm, so I don't really need it. And if I get the bartering farm up and running, you get string from bar uh, piglin bartering too. All right. So guess who's been stalling? That would be me. Um, all right. So what to do with this center? And yes, for those of you who 
keep track. I am running really long, but so I went grocery shopping and my wife's gone. So it's just me at home. So, you know, nothing too crazy here. Let's, all right, give me a wool color that would go good with this yellow. Of, of this, uh, I mean, I could use purple as well, but I'm not, I, I'm not totally digging adding purple into this. I mean, I could take, because I've got all of the colors, so we can do anything. We can do purple. I've got pinks and magentas on the other side. Um, I don't think red would be the way to go. Be something, something brighter maybe. But again, something that would kind of go with that. I mean, let's try the purple. Let's. Okay, I mean that's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. And because it's wool, I could drop carpet and stuff on there and add light if I need to, if I wanted to, right? So purple's an option. Um, let's see, what else would be good? Um, I don't... I could try the cyan. Of course, I could also put skulk there there I certainly have enough skulk um let's try some skulk and silk touch okay that's also not bad I mean, I'm removing a lot of the skulk from the city, so adding it back in in a few places is actually kind of cool. Plus, it's it's all twinkly, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't think I want to use any of the greens because I've got lots of moss around and I don't want to... I, I really feel like I need another color. Okay, so yellow would clash too much. I think orange would be orange. Oh, actually, you know what could be really cool here? Actually, let's let's leave some of that skulk there for a minute. Do I have Crying Obsidian? I don't. Crying Obsidian might look really good with this. Hmm. But yeah, I don't have any. But I think if I were to take Hey, so so strike. I'm trying to figure out what would be a good, good thing to put in these, uh, where I've got these sections of road that are split like this, because of all of the different aspects here. <sighs> a trader, a ruined portal, or a piglin bartering farm. I think life is pointing me at building a gold farm and a bartering farm. I think that's just kind of kind of where things are going. I mean, the the skulk here is good, right? It actually looks looks fine here with this. I think the purple might be a little bit too solid. I don't know if that's... I am worried a little bit about the... Um, I'm worried a little bit about the skulk being too busy. 
The other thing that might go very well there would be one of the uh, nether mushrooms. Yeah, it could go with light gray wool. Like, if I were to take the um, crimson stem or... What is it? The uh, warp stem? That might be good. I think the light gray is a little bit too much. But yeah, the warp stem... Okay. That may be a problem for future me. Because I think I've used up... I might have used up just about all of my... Yeah. Now, what? I, let's try some warped wart blocks. But yeah, some... Okay. Yeah, that's... That's not going to cut it. Okay, not bad. It, it goes beautifully with the skulk, but... All right, so let's see now. What do I have? That goes up there. All right, so we'll grab some fungus. Do I have nylium? That's it. That's the other question. Oh, hang on here just a moment. I have to take this. Okay, cool. So my my wife is traveling and but that was her, so right, Nylium. So let's see if I have any of my nethers rack. And let's see. Yes, I do. Perfect. Alright. So let's go um do I want to Alright. Let's sleep, and then let's head up to the t surface. Um, ah, yeah. No, she was... She's coming back, and the, the route she was going to take, they closed the highway on her, so now she's having to uh, backtrack and find a way around. Okay, so let's just head up to the surface. And let's see what fun and excitement we got. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. She says so she's taking my daughter to college this morning and or over this week. And yeah, definitely a painful process. This hill is covered in trees. Where am I going to put stuff? All right. Um. Yeah, come down here. This will be a good test. I don't know that I'm going to leave this uh, farm here, but this will be good. Okay. Yes, I have kids. I have five of them, actually. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes they, it works well. Some, sometimes less so. But... 
Hey, no worries. That was just uh, just my wife having the road closed on her. So, okay. Yep. So I think what I might have to do, I've got a couple of things, but if this works, okay, let's grow one more tree here. Just so we can get a few more logs. All right, there we go. All right, and clean out a bunch of all this stuff. All right. And you know, we've just created a few more spawning spaces, so that's awesome. Drop creepers are gonna be fun. All right, but. Let's take a look and see how this warp stem looks in the center of those, uh, with all of that end stone. And then I really should be stopping. I do have a video to edit. So, yeah, get some lunch started, edit a video. Uh, yep, got the next, uh, Tinker World video to do, so. Ah, I also can't hit buttons, apparently. All right, so go ahead and just throw all of that back there. All right, so let's see what this warp stem looks like. Oh yeah. Weekends tend to be fairly busy. I try to to uh, keep things nice and chill for the most part, but my Saturdays get busy. I like that. The warp stem but between the uh, end stone? I think that'll work. I th oh, the skulk is nice. I mean, I, I do like the skulk, but I think, I think this is going to be the way to go. Okay. Well, that's a annoying. Okay. All right. So, ah, so yeah, I was playing with some options for here for the middle between the end stone and we were looking at things in chat during the stream of, oh, we could use a uh, skulk, but looking at the the warped stem here, I think that might be really, I think that might be really nice. Now, the problem is I don't have a lot of this. So if I want to do this all over the city, I'm going to have to build a some form of farm, which, hey, I'm all about building farms. I'm okay with that. But, okay. Well, this is the last stem that I have, so it's going in there. Which I can't complain too much. I actually really like this block. The, or the, the wood. So, I guess I'll finish letting this copper oxidize. And, uh, yeah, but otherwise things are looking fairly nice here. Uh, and you're not wrong, Thomas. I've I've been to enough conferences and stuff in my life that, you know, doesn't matter which hotel you're in, which casino, which conference center you're in, for the, they all have the same carpet. <laughs> and it's all very much the same. Actually, what might be interesting... That might be even better. Rather than using the full stem, use the stripped version. Yeah. <laughs> they all go to Chris Carpeting. Yeah. No, I think this is going to... I think this is... Yeah, that forces your eye to the slots and the tables. Yep. 
No, nah, between you're in the back area too of the of all of those conference centers where you've got all the meeting rooms and all that stuff. It's like, yep. It's all the same industrial carpet where they spent no expense to make it look like they they spared every expense or something like that. That that's okay. We'll English that and send it back. All right. Cool. Well, I think this is gonna do it. I do need to stop, so Okay. But this fountain is starting to look a lot better now that the copper is oxidizing. So that turned out pretty nice. Our tree is looking fairly good. Still think that side might be a little long, but we'll go with it. And and heck. Even without the the gamma override on. Yeah, the stripped is the best version. Yeah, I like this. Oops. Gesturing with an axe leads to uh, hacky slashy. But yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. So, okay. Okay, I could, I could live with this. Nice. Well, I think let's go ahead and call it here. It has been... Oh. Okay. I don't know what happened to my overlay, but... It definitely went, uh, are you going to be there? No? Okay. Well, fine. Um, I won't point you at the stuff that's in the overlay or have the chat up or whatever else is going on because there it is. Haha, <laughs> it loaded. Yay. Um, but definitely thank you all for being here. It, it makes this a lot of fun. Um, check out musicfreegaming.com and, uh, there's all sorts of good stuff. Um, it's where I post blogs exclusively for subscribers over there. Uh, what else goes on over there? Early access to the podcast also for subscribers. And I'm running an experiment for free memberships. I don't know what's going to be available for people who sign up at musicfreegaming.com for free, but lots of cool stuff, I'm sure. Um, also, you can... Uh, I've got merch over there too. So, and strikes is going to make me a banner. Oh, that could be fun. But yeah, so check all that stuff out. And next stream, Tuesday and Thursday at uh, 6 30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Be back on Tinker World. Um, I might have a vague idea of what I'm doing. I don't know yet. So, yeah, so check that action out. And of course, like and subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And until next time, be excellent to each other. This is Music Free Gaming signing off.